forgot. Oh God. Hello everyone. I forgot. Holy cow. I'm a little bit late. How late am I? I'm only like, like what? 10 seconds late? 20 seconds late? Oh God. 30 seconds late? Oh Jesus. 30 seconds. Holy cow. That was bad. That was a bad, bad, uh, I, f I forgot. I went downstairs, let Charlie out. I was like, oh, I got a few more minutes. And I come up here and I see zeros across the screen. I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> How's everyone doing on Monday? Hopefully you guys are all doing really well. I am doing exceptionally well because we get to play the Invincible in like it's fully released. So I've played a few of the uh, I played, I think, two of the demos. They put out two separate demos. One for uh, content creators. They kind of give us an early look at the game, but also kind of see how the game was running. And then they put out a public demo for everyone to try. And I did that one as well. So I am excited. I cannot wait to play some of this. It is The Invincible is based off of a uh, an old novel from uh, Stanislaw Lem. He's a uh, Polish writer. Very, very good book. I've read it. And... This is going to be, I, I believe it's from a Polish developer as well. I get, I, let me double check that one. I don't know if it's the uh, Polish developer or not. I believe they are, but mm, I don't want to say anything that's not true. Let me get in here. Oh, God. The Invincible. Let's see. Oh, God. Ouch. It is from Star Wars Industries. So I believe they are. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I don't know where they're located. Let me see. Contact. They should have a, 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 a thing here. They are in Poland. All right. So Star Wars Industries is a Polish developer. There you go. That's why it's so freaking good. That's why. Uh, the demo had some glitchiness on Steam Deck, but I think that's the uh, release version is verified. Yes. Yeah, so it's on. If you want to play this game, The Invincible, and you might have seen this uh, picture before. You might have seen this picture before. For the last couple of years, I've been using it because it is such a good, like, image especially for like space and all that kind of stuff it's so good anyway but if you want to play it it's on playstation 5 xbox series i think it's on series x and s but it's on next gen systems and pc so you're talking epic game store gog steam what have you and on steam deck <laughs> so they have uh they use the demo for kind of performance to make sure everything was running as smooth as it could possibly be again no game is perfect. There's always going to be a weird hitch or a glitch there, but I played for about five minutes this morning. I didn't want to play too much. I played five minutes this morning to kind of see if it would run and how, you know, set up all my settings and stuff. It is beautiful. It is freaking phenomenal. So let's jump into the Invincible. Let's get in here. There we go. Now, the one thing I will say is that the volume for the game is very low. So you'll notice that it's very quiet in a lot of parts. I'm going to try to pump up the volume as much as I can, but it's it's low on purpose. I think it's a it's an artistic uh, choice to make it kind of low. An artist uh, rendition of Jason plays permadeath. Yes, Clayton. Exactly. <laughs> it is good from your demo of it. Oh, dude. I've been playing, uh, I played two different demos. I am really, really enjoying it. So it depends on what you enjoy in a game. It's a very, very heavily story driven, narrative driven game. There's not a lot of action. There's some action, but it's mostly gonna be investigating, walking around. You can call it a walking simulator, but I think that's more derogatory. It's a very, very good way to kind of uh, show a story in a game. So, I really appreciate it. If you liked Firewatch, if you liked What Remains of Edith Finch, those two games are very similar to what you're going to get here. Except for this is going to be a 
a, a sci-fi retro futuristic kind of uh, uh, theme about it. A bit strapped for cash at the moment, but we'll definitely be getting this. James, are you on the Discord? James, if you're on the Discord, we'll talk. Uh, quite with a lot of farts, did you say? <laughs> yes, a lot of farts. <laughs> no. So I am playing the PC version on Steam. I'm going to go to my settings here. I have, like, my audio. I played it. Even the demo was very, very quiet. So I maxed out the master volume, and I lowered, like, the music a little bit. I've lowered the sound and the interface a little bit because I want the voice to go all the way up to the maximum so that you can hear the dialogue. But don't worry. If you can't hear the dialogue, I still have uh, subtitles enabled. On my graphics, very good presets for graphics. Like, guys, this is kind of a nerdy thing. I know. By default, V-Sync is turned off. And by default, motion blur is turned off. Yes, thank you so much. By default, like I didn't have to change any of that stuff. It also defaults to a frame limit of 60 frames per second, but you can go up and down depending on what you want to do. If you want to go up to 240, you can do it. If you want to just go down to 30, 24, you want it to be filmic, you want it to be unlimited, whatever you want, but it defaults to a 60 frames, and I appreciate that. They have FSR2, DLSS, if you'd like it. So if you're running an NVIDIA card, you could do DLSS. If you're running an AMD card like I am, you can do FSR2. But this game, I mean, granted, I do have a really good graphics card. I have a 7900 XDX, XTX. So top of the line AMD card. I'm not going to run it with FSR on. I want it to be full native resolution, crisp and nice. I am running it on high, but you can go to Epic if you want. I run mine on high just because that's just... Epic is, you're getting a little tiny bit of a, uh, an increase for a lot of usage. So I just run mine on Epic. Still looks very good on Epic. Very good on Epic. All right. All that out of the way. Hello, Heather. Is Saz in the stream? I see Saz. I see her channel link. But Saz as well, guys, if you're not following Sazable or Heather or ScarTech, you should be. Sazable over the weekend did a face reveal. If you missed that, you should probably go back and watch that or catch your streams. Uh, where's Saz? I don't know where Saz is. She might be busy. I don't know. It is a Monday. People got to work. Texture should always be on the highest. That's very true, uh, Robert. That's very true, but it depends on how much VRAM you have. If you have a, an older card, setting it to the highest, probably not the ideal. I mean, you know what? Here, you know what? Just for you. We will go to Epic just for you. And we'll see how that works. That was playing it on high earlier, no problem. So we'll go to Epic and see if it causes problems. And as always, I'm playing with a controller. So you guys know it has controller support, Steam Deck support, of course. Let's do it. And up, oh, wait right here. 14 minutes, that doesn't count because I was standing still. I played for five, technically. <laughs> We're going to go new. So this is very, very old school retro sci-fi. Uh, the Dragonfly, a small research unit of the interplanetary Commonwealth with a crew of six, travels the distant regions of space. After visiting many worlds and exploring numerous planets, the research mission comes to an end. However, on the way home, there's one more task waiting for the crew. Despite the risk, Astrogator Novik undertakes the extraction of a rare and extremely valuable mineral himself. So he goes down himself. The Astrogator is like basically the captain. Novik gets the mineral, but at the cost of a broken leg and immense pain. The Astrogator's accident doesn't stop the crew from happily celebrating the end of the research cycle. It was a time of creating deep bonds and feeling unstoppable. Victorious, they set course home and go for a well-deserved rest in the hibernation chambers. They basically have like cryosleep. 
basically. And that's it. That's all the background we get. Where am I? In a, on my head. Marit? Anybody? Subtitles. I already have them. Got something. We're waking up. What happened? with you yes i did no i don't know where i am or how i got here i've got a splitting headache graphics are insanely gorgeous does anyone hear me base do you copy are you there no one's responding look at this i love that they have the the helmet like you it's like your face is in a helmet you can see the edges if you're looking for them so good. It's probably nothing Hello, serious. Richard. No damage to the suit or bone structure. Just <clears throat> this headache. Contact, contact your crew. Well, we got a wire that's all busted up. That's not good. receiver work for a moment but now there's only silence damn it I've lost my beacon where is it my beacon I have two solid hectobars in the tank that's enough for several hours two bars is enough for several hours that's not good Food supplies. There weren't many supplies, which would suggest a quick recce. Or was that just the end of the mission? Yasna, you you play as Yasna. She does not remember what the heck happened. She just wakes up here without any memory of what the heck happened. Look at this. Just like I thought. Nothing. That's your radar. <laughs> I'm on my own. I love this so much. The beacon can't be detected either. That is so awesome. Uh, Clayton says, hmm, Jason's head inside a player view. Looks like he's in some sort of consciousness. Brings back to mind that game black and white with good and evil consciousness. Really? Lord Ricey, non-living ships. What? <laughs> oh, we have a notebook. Oh, let's see if the past me hasn't failed the present me. And let's hope she took notes. Okay, we have a map here. And look at that. It's like an old school, like, map. We can zoom in a little bit. Are we in Regis 3? Doesn't ring any bells. Doesn't and even my know. My crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. Is my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression? That would be bizarre. Marching route? For some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with them. Or am I on my way there? Both groups landed in the same place. Uh, 
Okay. Two landers to the surface. They usually do this. Maybe the first one broke. Two landers. The first group explored the ocean with no violence. The Invincible! It's weird. And the other one, just me, took a different route. So why did I, why did she go in on a separate route and everyone else went to the other way? That doesn't seem smart. Like, oh yeah, let's split up. I'll go this way. You guys all go that way. Why? I don't know. Leading How does this game run at max graphics? I will say, uh, Macintosh, I am running at max right now. Let me pull up my, uh, my counter just to make sure. Uh, let me do this real fast. Sorry, guys. Give me a second here. I can't show you guys, but I can look at it and see what it looks like. So it looks like stable 60 already. Perfectly normal. Like not nothing, no hiccups, no anything like that. Let's see. Boom. Go back in here. Yeah, it looks like it's like rock solid 60. I mean, guys, I will say I am using a really, really good graphics card. So don't take that, you know, take it with a grain of salt. If you have a, a great graphics card, it'll work really good. If you don't, then it probably won't. But I would imagine that on uh, on PlayStation 5 and Xbox, it's probably lock solid, ready to go. Right. I was heading straight to the camp. Uh, Robert says, yeah, Jason, if it drops frames, it's an understandable if you have to reduce settings. Well, yeah, I mean, and I generally don't play at epic settings, but I wanted to do that for you, Robert, just so you can see it. This is at highest settings it'll go to. I mean, I did lock my frame rate to 60, so it doesn't seem like there's any problem. Can't just wait here. I just need to get a sense of my surroundings. Can you figure out? Well done past me. <laughs> He didn't disappoint after all. Oh, Needle? Sound like dog? I need to stop doing this. Croco? Um, okay. So we have to find landmarks. A, f a dog, a needle, and a croco? Is that what that is? Hey, crocodile. A crocodile. Where are you? We have to look for a crocodile. So we have our, uh, our scope. And I did do this earlier. So you have an actual zoom and a focus on your, uh, on your scope. Look at that. That's crazy. That rope. I think it's mine. I'll try to retrieve it later. It might come in handy. Yeah, we're gonna need a rope. What's this? That has an interesting shape. What is a that? crocodile indeed. Oh, it has a teeth on it. Okay. Found the crocodile. I don't know how you- That's the first one. That's a little bit of a stretch. So we found the crocodile. Now we need to find a needle. I called needle. So we know that that's the crocodile. And I mean, I guess it has like little teeth off of it. That does not look like a needle. Uh, another mess. That looks like a dog. That looks more like a dog to me than anything else. So that narrows it down. This must be the needle. I don't know how that's a needle. Right. It resembles the eye of a needle. Oh, okay. There you go. It's a sewing needle. There you go. <laughs> I report that I have established my position. Time to hit the road. Time to hit the road. All right. So we got to put our map away. Or put our book away. Put on my backpack. I don't know how I'm getting air if it's not strapped to me, but you know. All right. So this is this is the gameplay. We're going to be walking around investigating. Now, I will say I did run a little bit. Yasna does not have good stamina. <laughs> Look at that. She runs for about five seconds and then she stops. So I'm still like my arms are moving, but look at that. She's like going, but moving like a foot every minute. <laughs> so 
the run in this game is there and you can run for a little while but you definitely get a you get a overburden fast what is this more dropped equipment i must have hit the ground pretty hard what is this i didn't find this detector. metal detector it looks like a needle it looks Don't like yeah a silly you needle you won't be pleased more equipment to repair oh it's broken the detector's dead I guess I shouldn't just leave it like this, broken or not. All right. But yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's a that's the eye of a needle, like a, a sewing needle. I get it. Um, Elunis says, uh, "What game is this? This is a new game just came out today. It's called The Invincible. It is a very heavily uh, narrative-driven, story-driven game. It. I've been waiting for this game for a couple years now." Since uh, probably three years, since 2020. I'm in a canyon, which doesn't make it easy to navigate. Oh, I hope the data's trustworthy and you're close by. Well, let me grab my, let me grab my rope. <sighs> Thank you. Uh you probably could have used it to climb out but you know let's just pick it up now we have a rope what is she humming update for sure in no man's sky too many signs of playing uh playing the game i hope so but the uh the longer they wait for no man's sky for putting out an update the more i'm thinking that it's not going to be an update it's just going to be expedition replays. So they're not going to add anything or do anything to the game. Maybe they'll do a patch and they'll fix some bugs. But as we get closer to December, because usually it's not a, it's not a law or anything like that, but usually they take the developer of Hello Games or the developer called Hello Games that makes No Man's Sky. They usually take December off to visit family, you know, have some time to decompress of the year. And then they come back in January. So, there's some walking. Is this a trail? Look at this. How is there a walking trail on this? <laughs> her, uh, her running is crazy. All right. How is there a walking trail on this planet that no one's been to? Let's get over here. Let's see what I got. Nope. Nothing on the radar. Wow. Oh, yeah. I think I have my, oh, I have my scope. Don't need that. Put that away. Good Lord. I have my book. There it is. Up. Oh. Uh, let's go to the dog, I guess. We're going to go to the dog. There's something over here. Uh, please hit that like button, old explorer. Thank you so very much for reminding me. I usually forget that until like an hour in. Guys, if you want to help out the channel, please hit the like button definitely definitely helps out the channel even if you don't think it does like youtube doesn't pay attention they let us know it does i mean i don't know how much it works or they, how much they're paying attention but they tell us that they are so hey, what is this i think i see our ship that's it you're not leaving without me are you zoom in can i get that okay that's maximum zoom let me focus I can't see our ship. Oh, dang it. Yeah, there's no. I guess I can't zoom and see the ship. All right, I guess. I don't think there's anything over here. I, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, that's the dog statue. I wish there was a button to wipe my visor. Like, I'm looking for it. I don't see it. Got my footprints. Follow the yellow brick road. Almost basically follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> so we're just trying to find a way to get out of here. And there's a camp nearby because we, uh, my crew separated from me. I don't know why we went separate ways. They went one direction. I went the other and I woke up and now I need to find them. My radio's busted. Here's the croc. Let's 
game is gorgeous. Oh, I'm out of breath. This game looks really good. Now, to be fair, it's not like it's an action, you know, like huge open. What the? Oh, I have something on the tracker. I assume it's no one from the crew, so perhaps it's my beacon. <laughs> You're very optimistic. I'd be afraid of anything coming up on the motion tracker. What is this? But yeah, so to be fair, it's it's not like open world, like they're running all over the place. So they were able to handcraft it and kind of make it look gorgeous. And they did. They absolutely did. I love this Cold War era feeling. Dude, exactly. I love this. It's like if you go back to watch the, uh, like they use it for the example, but always like the 1979, uh, I think it was 79, 78 alien movie with Sigourney Weaver. Oh, dude. There's water on this desert planet. There's water? Hmm. Or another liquid that yes. did not allow the biosynosis to form. Won't be easy to replenish drinking supplies. Not without tests. Filtration, as we all remember. Third rule. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's bright. What is... Is this her memory? Okay, it's a flashback. Literally flashback. Already awake. Good. My body might be awake, but my brain is still in the fridge. I wouldn't be so sure, my dear. Clearly your sense of humor was first awake. Now, <laughs> try to get up slowly. Dr. Gorski doesn't look so well. Uh-oh. How oh, are you holding up, Gorski? Don't get up just yet. Is it really so hard for you to remember a couple of simple rules? I have to stretch my legs. They're numb. Hibernation will do that. Just sit for a while. They call it hibernation? They don't call it, uh, uh, what's it called? Like frozen cryo sleep? They call it hibernation. Here, take it and remember the third rule. Yes, I know. Stay hydrated. Stay Two hydrated. small sips. Always the first one to get up. I don't know how you do it, Murray. It's a matter of habit. After so many cycles of cryogenic sleep, one either gets used to it or becomes a tortoise. Um, Snookhammer says, is there fighting or is it like Fort Solace that you just did? It is like Fort Solace. So it's going to have a little bit of action here and there, but there's no like running and gunning or shooting people or enemies or whatever. You're mostly investigating and searching for your crew. This is like a flashback. So there's not like any kind of cover or anything like that. It's not an FPS. It's more, if you ever played, like Fort Solace is a really good example. It's like that or uh, Firewatch, something like that. Kovl, will you help me here? No deadly aliens? Sure, I'm coming. If it's like the book, they're, mm, I don't want to ruin it. Maybe. Has anyone noticed we're in the wrong place? Kovl, it's not a good time. We're in the wrong place? Yes, now look for yourself. This is not the right planet. You shouldn't be walking yet. We're not in the right place. Well, that's great. Kovl, could you stop it? I'm telling you, we woke up in the wrong place. Yes, we heard you. Enough of this, Yasna. Drink. Got to be hydrated. Astrogator. Debating chamber in 15 minutes. Chamber in 15. Guess we'll find out. But first, here, hold on to it and remember. Hydration. Speaking of hydration, I mean, it's not really hydrated, but you know, it's liquid, kind of. Ah. Cool beans, my guy. Oh, dude, yeah. If you have read the book, you might have an idea of what's going to happen because from the demos that I've played, they're very, very, uh, it's not a one-to-one -to, -one to the book, but there's a lot of very similar themes. And if you've read the book, you kind of have an idea of what's going to happen. I'll just say it, leave it at that. Uh, okay. Okay. So it's just a big area. Let's go over here and see whatever this motion sensor is. Oh, okay. 
Getting warmer. Thank God. I mean, if it's motion sensor, I'm like, I don't trust that. Got you. I found it. That's my beacon. It's a Look huge. Look for me on your trackers. That's a huge beacon. All right, where am I at? Okay. It looks like I can go down here. Let's check this. There's a lot more water down here. Oh, God. That's a big jump. Like that. Do I go in the water? Can I go in the water? Let's check it. Oh, you can. Okay. Oh, God. Is it deep? Oh, it's getting deep. Nope, nope, nope. I don't like that. I know I'm in a space suit, and I can probably... It doesn't matter because, you know, you're in a suit, but I don't like that. Let's... Mm -hmm. All right. No time to lose. Okay, it's not. Ooh, it actually is getting deeper. Okay, maybe just a little bit up to my chest. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to just go into some weird uh, liquid on another planet because it could be nitrogen. You don't even know. And he drowns. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so nothing over here. I want to check everywhere just in case I drop something. <sighs> Time to go. All right, I get it. Yes, uh, she wants us to go. Does it mark the... Okay, so if you've been somewhere, it actually reveals it on your map. So you see how it marked out that whole, like, loop I just did. So it does reveal stuff. <coughs> Watch out for the sleeve stack. Yes, exactly. For the sales gek. <laughs> it could be at... It could be at anything. Does... Liquid doesn't mean good. <laughs> it doesn't mean safe. Uh, I'm guessing that's the way out over there. What's over here? Yeah, it's weird how we have trails, like where people walked. Or maybe it's just weird discoloration in the uh, soil itself. But it looks like pathways. Maybe I'm just attributing it to pathways because it just, that's what I look at, that's what I think of. At least take the spacesuit off before you go for a swim. Well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, wait a minute. This might be the actual the way out. Let's get in here. Yeah, that might be the way out, actually. All right. So let's hang a left. Let's check it out over here. Oop, can I jump off this? That might be too far of a jump. Yeah, that's a too far of a jump. They don't want you jumping that far. Uh, Jason's too young to know uh, Slee Stack. I, I, I might be Jalahar. Uh, he looks really good. What is this? Miguel, this is a new game called The Invincible. Just came out today. It is a very, very awesome game. I've been waiting for it for about a couple, like two or three years now. I found a way out of the valley. Leading more or less towards the camp. Oh, wait, that is the exit. What the? I don't know where I'm going. Well, then let's go back over to the crocodile. I think those trails just might be erosion. It could be. It could be just my brain is making it into trails. But I mean, look at that. It's like a straight line. Like on a pathway. Like, it could just be game design. They want to make pathways. That way you kind of follow the path. And it could be that too. To make it easier to see what the heck you're doing. Oh. This leads somewhere. Where are we going? I think this is the exit. Oh, well, you know what? We're not going to mess around too much. Let's go. Let's go. We got to find everybody. We got to find our crew. Do I have a flashlight? I got my motion sensor. Oh, I got my... I keep doing pull on my scope. Nothing. Okay. As far as I know, there's not. 
If this area is volcanically active, ash outbursts and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora. Yeah. But it's all just too idyllic. There's no dust in the air. The sky is clear and the soil looks like laterite to me. Perhaps not highly fertile, but not entirely barren. Yeah. On some planets, such storms last for several hundred days. I Whoa. hope it's not one of them. Yeah. Miguel says, did he remember to check behind him for secrets before going forward? Maybe a little too much. <laughs> a little too much. I am one of those crazy people that I have to check every, like, nook and cranny. Just in case there might be some secret or a note or whatever. And I, I don't think this is that kind of game. I think you might be able to, like, there might be some things off the beaten path, but for the most part, you're just kind of exploring and looking around. Look at that. It's beautiful. Continue marching towards the camp. Let's check up here. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Look at that dust storm. Good Lord. Up, oh, little frame ready. Little frame ready. Okay, now it's good. That could just be loading a new area. So the frame rate kind of took a hit a little bit. Music is ominous. Kind of reminds me of uh, Farpoint so far. Old PSVR title. Watto. Maybe. I have not played Farpoint. That big crater is my fault. Had tacos last night. <laughs> as long as you're okay, Richard, we're good to go. Oof. Gotta take some tums for that. Well, let's get in here. It's really dark in here. Yeah, ominous music. I love it. The music is so good. Uh, she's out of breath quick. Must be the soaked suit, probably. She keeps humming. Over 400 meters in a straight line. I, I see you. Can you hear me? I just need to get down from here. The camp is over there. Oh, that looks like a big jump. Gentle slope. Great. A route that won't break my neck. <laughs> well, what's I over hope. here? I hope. That's not very hopeful, Yasna. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Exactly. Not creepy at all. Here's the edge. I can't get down this way. Yeah, that's a big drop. I can secure the rope. Oh, I could use the rope. Okay, so they do give you a little bit more of uh, uh, options if you want to try it. Here the ground slopes a little more gently, which doesn't mean it's completely flat. So you can actually go different routes. I think they all go to the same area. Oh well. If it catches me, so be it. This suit will hold. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go because I have no. I don't want to use the rope right now, right? Because uh, I might I might be able to use it later on. Let's use this. All right. I want to see you as soon as possible. I'll take your chance. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're going to slide down in a spacesuit on a planet we don't know the atmosphere of. Oh, 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 oh shit, break shit. any. Okay. Woo! Turn on the jetpack! I know. Oh, that was less than ideal. <laughs> but I'm okay. This suit's fine, too. Okay, good. Let's say you need to learn how to use your jetpack there, Yasna. Oh, the storm's coming in. Great. This is not going to help. This is not going to help at all. Oh, jeez. Where's your torch? Yeah, I know. I wish I had one. Maybe we'll find one at the camp. Maybe I should wait. I don't like 
That's not good. Did I just die? Is that, that number one? <laughs> no! She's gonna wake up, right? Oh, here we go. That was super loud. What happened? Where? She likes to black out a lot. I'd be worried about your mental health there, Yasna. I was heading to... The camp? Impossible. I'm much closer to my destination. I must have walked for some time. <laughs> what? I don't remember it. Yeah. Did, did I black out again? Yeah, she has a problem. There's something going on here. Did I walk through all this? Yeah, there's no way. Yes, and hop her closer to the camp. Find a place to land. All right. Let's go this way. I need to get back to Dragonfly as soon as possible. Go to the infirmary and do a full set of tests on myself. I'm losing it. She's losing it. She needs to do suit repairs first and then find some carbon. Exactly. You gotta repair my scanner. <laughs> that way I can find some uh, some uh, sodium. The hazard protection is getting kind of low. So I have my notebook. Yeah, look at all that. I skipped through all of this, huh? I went from here to here. Hmm. Well, that doesn't look good. Let's go this way. I think there are paths. You made them while blacked out, and you've been doing this for a long time in a loop. Maybe. Maybe she just doesn't remember, so she just keeps doing it over and over again. But we did hear someone talking on the radio earlier when she was trying to patch it up. So... There's still someone out there. God, I don't like tetanus. <laughs> he can't even lift my arm. This is not a good place to sleepwalk. No, it is not. Not at all. Okay, is this another one? Oh, look at this. We're heading back to where we were. And it doesn't mark anything on our map. Okay. All right, well, let's head to the camp. My supplies are low. My oxygen's low. Got to go back to the camp. 16, 16. Yes. Maybe she's the void mother. I think the camp is in this direction. Yep. Okay, so it's over here. Maybe through this, uh, these cliffs. Not liking it. You just passed a bunch of runaway mold. <laughs> Dang it! I need some nanites. This Planet Crafter update looks amazing. Dude, if Planet Crafter looked this good, that would be insane. <laughs> I mean, Planet Crafter looks good. Don't get me wrong, but it doesn't look this good. This is crazy good. Gotta get up to the camp. Remember for 22 months. Thank you so very much, man. Let's go. Love your namesake. Yes, Yasna. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. We're going to climb. Literally. Okay. She's blacking out all the time, but yeah, let's climb the mountain. She keeps humming the song. I think that whenever she's nervous, she... She has this lullaby. Oh, she. My legs are heavy. She does. 
Fill his rod and bite him. Legs become too heavy. Hands become too weak. Oh, seven. Yes, 22 months, almost two years. Freaking awesome. What is this? I remember you. Regis third satellite. <laughs> R three O three. Oh. Okay. We're gonna get more background. Astrogator, sir. Crew. Doctor Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. Oh, great. Ah, like up. the activity? Seventy. Seventies. Everyone's smoking. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere. Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, 0 Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. But wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes. And yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. We'll get to that later. Air radioactivity? It's virtually zero. In the word of paradise. Activity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps will winter. I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae. But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could yeah. be because of hard radiation. I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought intolerant evolution occurred here. That would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Hmm. Anyway, we'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame. Marit, do you have the geological analysis? It's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun has seen better days too. It's almost a red dwarf. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense, but I assure you that Regis Three is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? Oh, the Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Well, I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second. Converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate. Concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean. Together with its crew of almost a hundred men. Professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. Uh, they are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cole. All right, but where do we stand in all this, together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff? Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? Simple. 
We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. Astrogator, please. How much time do we have to conduct safe research? 13 days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Cove. Dr. Crowther, do we need full gear? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage, feel stupefied. But uh, don't worry, not before an hour or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program Artie to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauter, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you two. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator... Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis 3, if any. Really? Because there's nothing there. Well, if I was ordered to stay, what the hell am I doing here? Yeah, that's the question, huh? That is the question. Dissident pirate system for the win! Flashback to 60 Star Trek. Yes. So, the atmosphere is not totally deadly. If we don't have oxygen for like an hour, we're okay. But you will slowly get a little bit poisoned. Oh, thank goodness. Not everyone's in the field. This girl is too trusting. She sees movement and she assumes it's good. Oh, Lord. I think this is part of the demo that we played earlier. But yeah, she assumes this movement is good, and that's not... No, I'd be suspicious of everything. <laughs> you can't hear anything on the radio, and all of a sudden there's movement? This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anyone out there? Oh. Oh, it's just an Androbot. Android Stop! Doesn't like Androbot, stop! Doesn't like stopping. What the? Uh, Dr. Gorski, have you made changes to the Androbot's algorithms <laughs> without telling anyone? <laughs> Again? Oh, uh, well. Never mind. Well, that was. I don't trust that! <laughs> it's a cable planet! Oh, God. And then he kills the dude, Miguel. I know. Why would she come up to this robot? It looks like it could just destroy me. This woman is so trusting. It just stopped. Artie, huh? Oh, uh, maybe if I... Artie? Default position. I don't know what's wrong with you, buddy, but you clearly don't want to cooperate. No. Nothing. Danger, Miss Robinson. Exactly. <laughs> I love the the cool like retro style. Like they went full on. If the uh, 1950s and 60s uh, future came to be, this is what it would look like, and it's pretty awesome. So we have we have another movement over here in this tent. I'm not liking this. There's another person here. Oh, Dr. Crowther. Didn't you hear me earlier? Doctor. Is everything all right? He has his visor up. He's probably been breathing the atmosphere. Doctor, please. Look at me. A report that I've located Dr. Crowther. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Hello. Anyone there? I repeat, Crowther is in a serious condition. Let's see how it's oxygen. This is oxygen level at. Temperature normal. Pulse 2. O2 saturation is fine. Okay. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. Shh. 
His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Oh, he has a radio. Yep, his radio's working. Sorry, you don't need your radio. Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My oh. receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. You didn't have it easy. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. Also, we're gonna re we're gonna use his radio. Testing one, two, three. Copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear. Do I understand correctly that the doctor's life is not in imminent danger? That's my initial diagnosis, yes. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, Doctor. Both mental illness and serious bodily injury could contribute to this condition. However, he wasn't suffering from any disorders. There's nothing wrong with him physically. Epileptic seizure and chronic diseases can also be ruled out. So what? He's just fine? Too much gecko. On the contrary. Something is very wrong with him, and I can't figure out what. Which is even more worrying. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lambda. We need to get you all on board. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? If it were that easy, I would have sent the hopper long ago. Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activity. We have three more people to find, and you still need to designate a place for the landing. Three more people. Okay. I want his uh, water bottle. We have to find three more. Hello? A anyone else here? I found Dr. Crowther. Nope. So he's gonna start grabbing for the brains. And oh, dude, that would be creepy. Like he grabbed you and starts turning into a zombie. Oh, here we go. Dr. Crowther's notebook. It's not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowther kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Initial analysis of the samples reveal nickel, iron, magne magnes, uh, beryllium, and titanium in the composition. It would give a lot to understand what it actually is. Quick theory, a giant nickel iron meteor splashed into the atmosphere of Regis 3, melting its surface millions of years ago. No, wait, scratch that. The shape of structures contradicts that. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's to the right. west. He followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. Mine died, but Crowther had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA2316. Noting. 316. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Structures. Structures. What are those? Oh. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Got my metal Got detector. It. Please make or his. sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around, that's already broke. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. I have a metal detector, huh? I guess it's time to get out of the tent. She doesn't remember her blackouts? Bad sign. I know. It's Tyler Durden. All right. Now for the robot. It's unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish a connection. 
Can I help somehow? Look around. Let's look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Can you get in here? Put the tin head back on its feet remotely. Just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Huh. Yes, the fish. Sir? What are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. What about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. Yeah. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. Fascinating. Did you find anything, Doctor? Nice specimen. Oh, it's still alive. Ah, the fish Dr. Gorski caught. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Something. Oh, we have a flashback? We have a fish flashback? Dragonfly, come in. Uh, hello, Regis. Dragonfly here. Dr. Yasna at the radio. And Novik? Is his leg still bothering him? Yes. He's been resting in his quarters. We're setting up on the shoreline. It's late, but we still have time to examine the ocean floor. Uh, Gorski is preparing the probe for launch. We'll start research soon. Oh, and um, one more thing, Yasna. Yes? It's beautiful here. The ocean, wind, sand. My suit is pinching and cramping just at the mere sight. <laughs> okay. Should I include this in my reports? Yeah. I'm serious. I don't know about you, but over the years I've learned to hate the voyage. We do everything to go further, see more, take mankind one step the big old closer to and then we can't even take a walk on land. As if enjoying everything that's around us was almost a... I understand how you feel, Koval. After all these years, I miss home too. Is it that obvious? We come across as, well, erudite, but at the end of the day, it's simple bonding that speaks through me. Well, a little obvious. We have to examine the composition of the ocean, Doctor. Collect the mineral samples. Yes, that's right. Do you want to do the honors? Gladly. Koval, where are you going? Over. Probe in the water. For a little lab. Switching to manual. As a quick recce. I'm going to take a look around. Distance, 100. Uh, a recce. More like a quick ciggy. <laughs> 300. <laughs> Am I hearing this correctly? Are you going to smoke, Buffalo? Uh, no. No, not at all. I'm staying dutifully at my station. Mm -hmm. 500. That me. Am I seeing this right? Dr. Crowther, would you please have a look here? Of course. Just a second. It's like... a school of fish. This is... lovely. What are they doing? They're moving away from us. From us? I'm talking about an artificial robotic gizmo. Right from the probe. As soon as I swim it closer to them, do you see what happens? Is this normal yet, now? It's hard to speak of normality here, but animals are usually not afraid of equipment or, or anything they haven't seen before. Are you saying they've already seen probes? Mm. I've no idea, but their behavior suggests some sort of defense mechanism. Catch at least one for examination, then I'll be able to say more. Come here. One more time. Does it? What did you do? I had to electrocute him. Wouldn't have caught it otherwise. I'm taking the specimen ashore. That's a fine one. There'll be plenty to dissect, Yasna. <laughs> All right, so the fish were afraid, huh? The fish were afraid. I don't like that. Not one bit. It's Nunya. <laughs> exactly. All right, so we got to fix this robot. Oh no, we have to look for the, uh, for that broken relay. I've got bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart the Androbot. The relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. Uh, no luck. Uh, they're not in here. 
I like how that focus is like real sensitive. Holy cow. Not in there. Not this one. Not here either. Well, let's shut it. You don't want the elements to get to whatever that is. That looks important. Speaking of that, let's shut this one up. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, no, that's the door. This looks like water bottles and stuff. Yeah, let's close that. Just in case. Don't want that sandstorm to mess everything up. Oh. I have the extra relay. Excellent. A lot of relays. Signal should be back as soon as it's turned on. Okay, so she... She took three of them? <laughs> okay. Let's shut this one. Looks like they need the biologist. Exactly. All of a sudden, now there's fish, and they're like, oh, okay, we need the biologist now. So we have two other ones ready to go. That looks like aluminum foil. Very good. Aluminium. Is it going to work? We'll see. I rebooted the systems. That should help. Good, good. It's receiving instructions. Ugh. I don't know if the Androbot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes. Unfortunately. Hmm. A positronic brain has correct readings. Receptors. Hmm. There you go. Now it's gonna kill me. He moved. Finally. Artie should be walking now. Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. Nope. <laughs> well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Yeah. Uh, please check his legs. Hmm. Could be the server motor. Ah, that's it. Gotcha, you tin bastard. Uh. Thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go find the others while I finish here. That's an order. Yes, sir. Okay, he's not moving, though. He's supposed to just be, like, doing some, uh, some knee raises. <laughs> okay. All right, we gotta go this way. Oh, yeah, those guys over there. All right. Hit it with a hammer! Exactly. That is the fix-all. It's like Dorothy's tin man. Exactly. Gotta, uh, gotta give him some oil. Oh, a little bit of a hitch there. Yeah, it seems like when you load into new areas, it kind of hitches a little bit. And that could be set to, because I have it set to epic, it's loading in a lot of stuff. Calisthenics? Exactly. Yep. I keep saying exactly. Calisthenics. That could do it. Yes, now focus. What now? Can I go this way? Oh god, yeah, let's go through this cave. Let's go through this cave. I was gonna say that the screen just went down. Oh, what? I'm going the right way? Oh, God. And she's dead again. <laughs> I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up, or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? That, I don't know, unfortunately. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. That metal is sticking out of the ground. That looks it's, it's like 
purposely built. Look at that. That's not just n naturally occurring metal. That is like in a specific shape. Got someone. I'm following the signal. Monolith, like in 2001, maybe. So we have a signal. the thing it's a book a notebook oh god really i come at it from the right angle it's a journal geological cross-section measurements he's a merit's notes oh, she must be somewhere close please search the entire area thoroughly we must focus on both water chemistry, testing, and geological drilling. Layers of sedimentary clay intersped, uh, interspersed with blackish red substance. Not geological, not planetary. Millions of years old at least. There's the structure and it goes really deep down. Holy cow. Uh, Cosmolidary Alliance, uh, Interplanetary Commonwealth Headquarters, Space Division Solar System. Dear Dr. Merritt, this is in response to the latest Interplanetary Conference. We would like to offer you a promotion in the future expedition, Obelisk, as a uh, astrogator. Your skills and overall performance in previous missions prove to us your readiness to take the next step in the uh, space journey, we would be delighted to receive your response as soon as you are back from your current mission. Sincerely, General uh, uh, Pixard. Um, I don't think that's going to be good. We found her note. Or we found her notebook. So she has to be like up there, right? Upper level. I think I know where I can find her. Yeah, her book fell down here. You have to make it to the center of the planet. Exactly. Got to go to the center. You'd be surprised what metallic crystalline structures can look like, though. Well, that's true. That's true. So it could be that that's a natural shape, but it doesn't feel natural. The signal's coming from a cast of backpack. That's concerning. Backpack. I'm close, but I can't see her. Did I not pick up her backpack? She's here. I found her. What's her condition? Marit! 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 Wake up. Wake up! Do you hear me? Dr. Marit? No. No Wait vital here. functions. What's going on? I need on? two. One. Two. Three. She's not alive. Come on. One, two. You gotta Nothing. do. You gotta blow. Her impressions aren't enough. Don't. Please. Lift up, Merritt. Breathe. Thank you. Stop. Yasna. No. That's enough. Enough. Merit. Last one down. She's. She's. I know. Doctor. Yes, there. We have to find the others. Please give me a minute. Of course. Everything will be fine. All fine.
Nanya. She was my favorite. She was pretty good. You should be close. Uh, well, that's great. One guy who's just mentally gone. Merit, who's gone. We got two left. <laughs> ah! Do you think... Kozel? Let's not assume the worst. You'll find the Doctor alive. I'm sure about that. Someone's here. Someone else? Good Lord, is everyone here just dead? I'm gonna find all their bodies. So Gorski went this way. Who's over here? Oh my god, are you serious? Everyone's here. Mm. Oh no. Yasna, status. Yasna. He's He's... he's also... Koval? Don't do this to me. No. Oh. oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. You're alive. Did you hear that, sir? Koval's alive. I didn't doubt it for a second, Doctor. <laughs> yeah, What's right. His current state? Checking. Parameters normal, yet he's completely unresponsive. Koval, Koval, his eyes are so empty, just like Crowter's. Koval, what the hell is wrong with you? Are all the symptoms the same as Dr. Crowter's? He's calm, calmer. Well, at least he's alive. Now listen to me, Asna. The lander is on its way, but before you get Dr. Koval on board, I want you to do something. Yasna. I'm listening. Please look around for his journal. It's everywhere. In pieces. <sighs> Not good. Koval was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Taking notes. That's exactly why it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. Look at this page right here. What is this? Someone on a throne? I'll go over them. But it may take a while. Huh. Have you found it? No, it's uh nothing about Dr. Gorski. Uh, found them. Surprisingly accurate. He wrote down Gorski's every step. Great. Let's get Koval to the evacuation area. Can you carry him, Doctor? <laughs> Won't be pretty hard in 1G. But the gravity here should make things a tad easier. Okay. Erotic drawings of merit. No. You got him. Oh. I didn't check the landing. Hopefully the landing area is nice and clear. The Andromod with Crowder is also on its way to the site. You'll need short use. The land is already descending. A bad feeling. It won't break into pieces, right? The descent is proceeding smoothly. Don't worry. Okay, looks good. <sighs> and the robot got the other guy, Krauta. Wait, she's carrying him? When did she become She-Hulk? Miguel! She, uh, she kind of mentioned it in passing, but there's lower gravity here. So it's easier to carry stuff. She's definitely struggling, though. Although the latter got Dr. Gorski's interest for some reason. It's crazy how everything's falling apart here. 
I don't know. Maybe we're dealing with some kind of anomaly. An atmospheric or magnetic phenomenon. Hmm. Wouldn't something like that show on the charts? All those measurements Gorski took? I remember. Maybe he made a mistake. Look at that, the heat coming off of it. Oh, but the robot already brought him over. Nice. Thank you, Artie. We're still missing one person. Is he strapped in? Okay, here. See you up there. Wait, wait, we're not going? Only Gorski's left. He might have made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. It might take hours before I come back. I'll go back for Marit's body first. Take her to the lander. But yes, sir. Dr. Marit is already gone. Doesn't matter. What if we also lose Gorski? I've made up my mind, Astrogator. I can't leave her like this. Yep, does not matter. We're not leaving her here. Calling your exocraft. I know I need an exocraft for sure. Cause uh Yasna is definitely not a uh an athlete. I like how they say that there's lower gravity, that's why she was able to uh to lift him, but she can't run. Look, look at this. And then done. She she has a good like 15 second maybe run. <laughs> uh Where is she? Oh, she over here. Oh yeah, across the bridge. Okay, across the bridge. No one left behind. Exactly. Nobody left behind. So that's where her book was. I should move. Oh, there's no time. I'm going, Yasna. Give me a second. <clears throat> You should you should grab her uh, backpack though. She might have some oxygen in there. I'm gonna come back and look around too, because there might be other stuff around yes, here. Sir. Come in. How are you feeling? How do you think, sir? I'm managing somehow. Forgive me. But I need to know if you're ready to continue your mission. Ready? Well, I don't think we have much choice in the matter. There's only one way forward. Is there a day-night cycle? None yet. It doesn't seem like it. So this is a, uh, a narrative-driven game. So I would imagine that they, they would change the day-night cycle depending on your, where you are in the story. So, like, if I sit here I've for the next hour, it won't change. For over two decades made of sterner stuff the sternest many of us relied on her i did did you know that headquarters offered her a promotion she would have been the first female astrogator in the history of the commonwealth i had no idea doesn't matter anymore really not entirely Marit will be awarded posthumously <sighs> it seems so trivial to me now the badge, the fancy title, as an emblem of human life and values. I thought it would bring you some comfort. Maybe that's a consolation for you, sir, but not for me. I miss her already, Mikkel, yes. Why are they all dead? I just joined. Oh, Finlay! We got, uh, we don't know what's happening. So we we're playing as Yasna in the uh, game called The Invincible. We, something happened to our crew, and so we woke up on the planet. We didn't have any memory of before, and we woke up. And we're slowly getting our memory back. Something happened. We all separated, and they didn't make it. Well, at least uh, Merit did not make it. Now she wakes up. <laughs> that would freak me out. Please take good care of her. Of course. Dr. Gorsk is next. Let's hope he got out of danger in time. 
It would be good to know what kind of danger we're talking about. Follow Dr. Gorski's tracks. Um, I don't know. We gotta go. We gotta turn around, huh? We go this way? Yeah, gotta go that way. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's go investigate this area. I didn't really look at that metal structure. Uh, don't forget your suit expansion slot. Exactly. I gotta get some. Uh, I gotta get a uh, antimatter housing so I can get that expansion slot. Uh, Khan says, "Hello, Jason. Is this game available for old generation consoles? It is not, as far as I'm aware. It is only for uh, PS5, Xbox Series X. I think it's out for the S as well, but I'm not positive on that. I know it's for next generation, so PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC." And if you're playing on PC, it does have not really beefy requirements, but you definitely you need to have an SSD. You need to have I'm some here, more wandering, wandering more uh, modern stuff. It all just takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. Well, we're level. Let's get down in here. Let's see. Oh. That noise. Can you hear it? Yes. Is there a generator? What's going on? Doctor? Checking! It's a drill! So damn loud! Oh god, thank god I went back! Look here, do you see it? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, it's the same on the other side. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Any progress? Uh, we dig as far as the terrain and out. It'll take a while. Regis, come in. Status report. As for data, sir, we dug up another three cubic meters. The object exhibits remarkable structural homogeneity. All spectroscopic analysis shows similar results. Steel with tungsten and nickel alloy? That's right, with the addition of other common metals. Is there any chance of retrieving the entire object for research purposes? No, none at all. Even sonar couldn't cover the entirety of it. Instead, Dr. Gorski calibrated the detector, so we had to look beneath the surface. And? What did you see there? Uh, more of the same. What protrudes above the ground is just the tip of the iceberg. We estimate it extends at least 50 meters on the ground. Holy crap. I see. Oh, and furthermore, it's not a single object. Down below, there is an entire root system. So vast that it's impossible to cover it all at once. Either with a scanner or a detector. Have you followed its course? Dr. Gorski's doing just that. Gorski? Are you scanning those... routes? Affirmative. Uh, I'm headed westwards. Been going for a few hundred meters already. Still haven't reached the end of it. Sorry to interrupt, gentlemen, but I confirm my suspicions. This area has been tectonically inactive for a very long time, and the Aeolian activity is minimal. Therefore, the material that has settled on, or rather covered this metallic structure, it's very old, which means these structures are even older. And what are we talking about here? A few thousand years? Tens of thousands? Uh, I can't give a precise assessment, not yet. I'm asking for a rough estimate, Merritt. Uh, well then, I guess it, it could be hundreds of thousands. If really? Not millions of years old. Anything else? Yes. These structures almost certainly didn't form through natural processes. Really? Almost? Well, they don't look like anything I've seen before. And you know I've seen a lot of it. Also, I can't find any scientific explanation for this form. Hmm. Could this be what the Alliance is here for? I don't make really a guess that. I really don't know. Uh, personally, I doubt it, Astrogator. The more research we do, I'm more convinced I am that it serves no purpose at all. It's even hard to imagine this could ever have any function. What are we doing? Carefully, Connor. Regis, we're losing reception. Oh. 
They're losing. Cough, can you hear us? Oh. Merritt, we can't hear you. Damn it. What now, sir? We listen. Wait for the interference to pass. Excuse me, but I don't think it will pass on its own. We need to take action. What do you suggest? I can board the second lander and fly to the surface. Yes, sir. I can't let you go alone. My leg. Yeah, but you can't stop me either. Uh, there says 2004. It might be 2004 in the game because this is supposed to be retro future. Uh, but yeah, it is uh, United States. It's US dollars, 29.99. So 30 dollars US. Now it's going to be different depending on your uh, your country's currency. So Canadian, it looks like it's going to be 40 Canadian dollars. Dollar dues, I think is what they call it. Oh, wait, I have a me metal thing. Oh, God, I almost fell. Oh, jeez, look at all that. Okay, yeah, that metal goes all the way down. Okay. Well, great. So they were following it, and then something Stay. happened. Nothing's changed, Astro Kater. Understood. They were following it, and something happened. And that's probably when we separated and I got sent down to try to find out what the heck happened. I like that metal detector. It's crazy. Nothing. Yeah, I'm assuming that drill bit was there, but let's go see where Merritt was. It's a hazard planet for sure. Hazard planet. <laughs> the Maple Bucks. Exactly. Yeah, Maple Bucks. That's better. Dollary dues were for uh, for Australia. <laughs> Well, nothing really. At I'm... least not in the last five seconds, sir. <laughs> right. Thank you. <laughs> At least not the five seconds you called me last time. All right, I don't see anything else. All right, let's go find the other doctor. The one guy left. Uh, the Invincible is an upcoming adventure video game developed by Starward Industries. Yes, Polish developer, which is awesome. And published by 11-Bit Studios. It is an adaption of the 1964 Polish novel, The Invincible. Yes, I do. Ha I have that novel. I literally have it. If we came up here, just kind of looking around, making sure I didn't miss anything. But yeah, so if you read the novel, you kind of have an yes, idea. But it's, it's not one to one. Yes, yes. I just need a moment to think. Uh, as soon as you find something, I'll report it. No worries, sir. Jason, I looked for you on a Series X, uh, Xbox, forty bucks Canadian here. Yep, Series X. I bet you Canadian it's gonna be forty. Uh, I paid uh, thirty dollars, twenty nine ninety nine on Steam. If you're in the United States, that's probably the price. And you can get the deluxe version if you're on. I believe it might be on both, but you can get a deluxe version that has a comic and a, a digital comic and a digital soundtrack that comes with the game. If you so desire, I like the music in this game, so I got the soundtrack, of course. Music is pretty good. So far, I will not call this a game. Instead, it's an interactive movie. Too linear for me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the the uh, term that a lot of people use sticks is uh, is walking simulator. So, if you're in, the, if it's not your kind of game, I get it. Not your flavor. 
I understand that. <sighs> this mission drags on so much. It is very linear. They're trying to tell Sometimes you a story. I think you're gonna take off without me, sir. Yep. Don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. I think he's gonna leave. All right, I guess we should go find uh, Doctor. What's his name? Gorski. But yeah, it is very linear. It's a interactive movie, for lack of a better word. But it does some good stuff, like being able to. I could have totally missed that drill piece back there. So it gives you that option of you. You can miss some story elements if you are not, you know, searching or if you don't care, you can skip it or whatever. And I will say, I, I believe they, uh, the, the developer came out and said there are 11 different endings you can get, depending on if you, uh, your choices in the game, whether you save someone or you don't, or you leave someone behind or you don't, you can get one of 11 different endings. Are we lost in space? Uh, yes. My legs feel really heavy. Give yourself a moment to rest, Doctor. You certainly deserve it. Good Lord. I'm liking watching you play this, Jason. Love mysteries. I might cut a series on this because I know a lot of people, they don't like watching a, a big, you know, uh, live stream because Number one, I'm talking a lot. <laughs> but number two, they want it in smaller bite-sized chunks. So I get that. Oh, what is this? Oh, I can't go anywhere over here. Dang it. I'm leaving the excavation site. Huh. How did he come down? Yeah, how did he go down? Over there? Yeah, probably over there. It looks like a shorter drop over here. Oh God, not that short though. Best way to tell a story in a game, in my opinion. I mean, it can, it can be done really, really, really well. It can also be, not be done so good. I like this, like the Invincible does it very well. What Remains of Edith Finch does it amazingly well. Oh. I've got Gorski's signal. We have Gorski. So it's unlikely to be him. Then who? Uh, not who, but what? Oh, it's weird. Dr. Gorski hardly ever parted with it. With what? Ah, oh, you're talking about the teleprobe. Uh, yes. The teleprobe? I located the probe. It's lying on the ground, inactive. Can't be completely broken if you picked up a signal. I'd say it's running in safe mode. Please try to power it on. Do we have time for this? It's for a good reason, Doctor. The probe could prove useful in the search. And besides, you'll see. Okay. How can one not like watching a mystery narrated by the famous Jason Plays? I don't know about that. I can't speak correctly sometimes. <laughs> okay. I'm opening the probe. Okay. Turning the systems on. No, no, stop. Wait for my instructions. There's a button on the left side of the fuse box. Hold it and then turn the dial again. Now go ahead. Okay. Slide records. Correct. I, I didn't know we had access to them. You couldn't have known. This is not standard procedure. But as they say, extremis malice, extrema remedia. Extreme, huh? Let's take a look. Oh, that was a weird glitchy there. Okay, people landed. They walked out. So this is the part I love. I love the art and the style of the game. So back in the 60s, that's what it, this is what it would be. It would be slides, like little pictures instead of video. This is so cool. All right. So they landed and they started walking out. And then they found the fish. Look at the fish. A photo of the first days on the surface. They started exploring the littoral zone almost immediately. They reported as much. It wasn't until the fourth day the comms failed. They caught the fish. Look at that. Okay, I can. 
Look at it. I love how it's see-through. All right, anyway. Sorry. <laughs> I get distracted. I recognize these structures. This is where they began to dig. Yep. They were trying to get that metal uh, object out. One of the best voices for narrating for me was Mr. William uh, Conradu, played by a canon detective. I don't know that guy. For me, watch it as a movie, then can be good. Do not know yet. Watch as a movie. I mean, it, one of those things where maybe we'll make a long episode. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, yeah. they. Oh, my God. They were... They dug all around it. Okay. Twelve hours passed. Three crew members are still there. Dr. Gorski must have left already. We lost contact shortly thereafter. Twelve hours of trying to ex excavate that thing. Holy cow. The probe followed him, and he followed the detector's readings. Going after those metal structures. Yes, that's what I meant. What's yeah. next? And a whole bunch of nothing. Last slide. There's mostly noise. Nothing in particular stands out to you, Doctor. They were digging and suddenly, poof, people are dead. No need to shout, Astrogator. Yeah. I'm just letting you know what I see. That's all. Uh, hang on. An absurdly high electromagnetic field reading. That's something. Sort of. What are the earlier readings? Checking. Still high in the slide just before. And earlier, quite normal. So they had high readings. Something happened. It happened in a matter of seconds. But there's... There's nothing except dunes. Sand, a few rocks, a shadow. Shadow? Another sandstorm. On the right side, yeah. All right, Doctor. Let's move on. You may turn on the fuses now. We'll take okay. the probe with us. That sandstorm is not a sandstorm. All right, our little camera following us. Good. I've got it on my radar. Now I can give commands to the probe. And what do you see? Is it working correctly? If you run it on manual steering, sir, then, then it works just fine. That's exactly what I'm doing. You have a keen eye. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. That would be nice to have some company. Uh, I mean, apart from yours, sir. One second. <laughs> oh, that's odd. There's no data in the probe's memory. No ID, no nothing. Do you want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. After all, it'll be with you for a while. So, what's it going to be? Huh. A name for the teleprobe. All right. I can think of something. Copy that. I'm listening. <laughs> B or Bali or Luna? We're going to go. I would normally go with Bali, but let's go with Luna. That seems more practical. Please enter Luna. L. U N A. Done. Now, a few more tweaks, and you'll have a flying measurement sensor at your disposal. Okay. How do I get down? Over here? Is she talking about William Conrad that played Cannon in the detective on television in the late 70s? 
and voiced by Matt Dillon on uh, Matt Dillon on radio. Any idea of how long this game is supposed to last? Mikhail, I have no idea how long it is. I don't see these metal structures anywhere. The only surface structure reported was from the excavation. The detector's measurement is very clear. I'm going straight on. Oh yeah, no look at this thing. Roads, branches? Not yet. Just one thick, tangled vein. That's what she said. All right, anyway. Uh, in general, uh, mo these more narrative-driven games, walking simulators, they're not very long. Like if you uh, take, for example, Fort Solus, that was about a four-hour game. So I'm thinking it's probably going to be a handful of hours. It's not going to be like this big epic 20 hour long thing. I'm guessing it's probably going to be around five hours or so. Could be less. We, we've been playing for a couple of hours, so and I feel like we have plenty more to do. So I can imagine it's probably going to be around five hours or so. Uh, don't forget it. Uh, name it the orb. Wait, did she just say that uh, uh, that's what she said? Or was that you? Uh, that was me. That was me. I have a, uh, I have a sounder. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, so I, uh, that is, uh, One step at a time, Yasna. That is One compliments of Heather Silvermist. <laughs> All right, well, we have two different directions here. We have two different directions. The structure branch underground G checks the right branch. Massive vertical exhibit. It protrudes above the surface. Water tank underground. Oh, wait a minute. G checks the right branch. All right. So he went right. We got to go right then, I guess. So we have to go this way. Well, wait a minute. He went that way. So let's go this way. Let's see what happens on the left branch. Because G, if Gorski went to the right. Nobody went over to the left. Oh, there's so much of it. I guess this is the fourth point where the massive structure was mentioned. Our flag should be at the top. Yeah, up there. Yeah, look at this thing. I'm just following this, uh, this metal, like, vein of scary, scary alien stuff. Oh, there's lava over there, huh? Yeah, it's going that hey, way. Luna. Hey, Luna. Um, is it a she said inception, Heather? Exactly. <laughs> yes. Uh. Yeah, you are positive. I like that. I try to be. I get a little bit distracted, though, because I'm like, OK, I want to go left. And it seems like there's a lot over there, so I don't want to go too far. We know that uh, Gorski went right. So he went over this direction. Oh, hey. Easy there. Yeah, Luna. Jeez. Oh, metal structure over here. The probe detected something. I see that in the readings. What is it exactly? The structure from the notes, it fits the description perfectly. Well done, Luna. I knew I could count on you. Well, we didn't bring it to the surface for no reason. Even in the first stage procedure. Oh, now I'm going to apply for my own. As soon as you find Dr. Gorski, I'll see to it myself. All right, <laughs> how about that point? What does it look like? What caught the doctor's attention? Looks sort of like scaffolding set up underground. Inside the ground, actually. Oh, an unusual structure shape? Definitely. Do you think someone actually built it? Well, it's a far-fetched theory, but seems so. Maybe. Alright, let me go over here. 
Inception on the beach. Yes. <laughs> Looks like loads of ants walked across the floor. Maybe. There's a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of ants on the ground. <laughs> Oof, okay, stop running. Fogging up my visor. Yeah, see, there's a big loop. Okay, this is back where we were before. Okay. Because this is the lake we were here. Water was mentioned or in the pond. net around the third point, and I have a matching object here. All right. So, how many are left? Uh, two points. Or at least that's what he told Cobble. What he did next, it's hard to assess. The battery and the detector last for only a few hours, so he couldn't have gone much further. <sighs> the fourth point is a structure that fills a rock massive, on top of which he found surface structures. Sounds like a crucial node in this whole system. Get out of the way, Luna. I confirm. It's the fourth one. I see our flag. Oh, freaking out here. Traces of shoes? You mean footprints? <laughs> Traces of shoes! I mean footprints. Gotcha. I found his tracks. Finally, some tangible evidence that he was going this way. Good. It's downhill all the way, Doctor. I wouldn't be so sure, Astrogator. The next point is at a height of approximately 100 meters. Definitely uphill. Catch up with Dr. Gorski on the other side. Well, that wouldn't be such a bad scenario, right? Of course not. Though I wouldn't mind if we bumped into each other before the climb. Yeah. Hmm. Where's our lava? I remember lava on the other side. Hello, Delta One! It's like the machine in Total Recall. It's... Kind of? gonna put air in the atmosphere maybe <laughs> Jason is used to walking in circles exactly I'm a professional oh here's the lava here's where we were okay I just cut off a little bit early so we basically okay we went around and checked all the points of interest um yeah that looks like it's gonna be hot This lava. I'm gonna jump over the lava. It's like two thousand. Slipping through my fingers like sand. Just so jump over sand. it. <laughs> You're so tired, Jester. Because I am tired, Astrogator. Yeah, I am tired. All right, and then it goes up and around. Yep. So we came here earlier. This is where we we were. We're just a big loop looking for him. We could have just skipped all that and come over here, but you know. There you go. Yep, Delta. Just Delta. Because I'm too lazy. Once we have another Delta, we'll have to actually put his name Delta One, Two, Three, Four, Six. Uh. But for now, you're just Delta. Because you're the only one. I can't use him. Massive vertical exhibit protrudes above the surface. Water tank, the biggest one yet. Hillside, 150 meters. Visible from point four. Okay. So once we get up the mountain, then we can start doing that. Oh, good lord. Huh, whilst traversing this planet. 
I'm becoming more and more convinced that what I know is not the same as what exists. What can exist. I must admit it's an interesting thought. But quite disturbing. Are we supposed to come over here? No, it looks like I can't. Oh, this is the end, huh? Wow. Okay. I just remembered something. There is a photo mode in here. Oh, look at that. I thought it was going to be first person. Well, that's what the Yasna looks like. Okay. Can I go far away? Oh, they let you basically go anywhere you can walk. Okay. So if I wanted to, I could just take a, a nice good a screenshot right here. And just go boom. There you go. So you can go anywhere your your camera can go anywhere your uh your character can. What is this? That looks like a Okay, it looks like a metal piece, but I guess it's nothing. Uh, the other one says, I'm a bit late, Jason. What's up? What is Jason up to? I, we are playing a new game called The Invincible. It's a very story driven game. If you played uh, Firewatch or What Remains of Edith Finch, it's very similar to that kind of a game. We are, uh, we are playing Yasna. We're part of a crew on uh, exploring the galaxy, exploring the universe. And they landed on a uh, planet called Regis 3 and then got I have separated. A we're in the dark. We have to find a way. And, uh... Agreed. You should move on. Uh, that's not quite what I meant. But yeah, <laughs> I probably should. I'm going. Uh, Yasna was, uh, separated from her crew, and we're trying to figure out what happened. She blacked out, cannot really remember what happened before, and so we're kind of piecing everything together. And we're finding all of our crew. We have one person left to get, and we're almost there. Jacob says, I love your videos, man. Well, thank you. Very much appreciated, dude. Look at this little orbiting thing. Old Explorer says, and Jason has only pooped himself once, so doing okay. Three, exactly. Two, one. The land is departing. Yes, they're on their way. Thank you for your assistance. Without your help, it would have taken much longer. What's the plan for the second flight? The same place? That would work best. Certain, proven. When you and Dr. Gorski come back, I'll send the lander right away. Okay, I was gonna say, uh, what? We're ju you're just leaving me here? <laughs> but no, they're gonna send it back again. They're gonna send it back to me. Up oh, more of the uh, metallic structure up here. I've reached the top. The doctor discovered something new from here. Something he called bushes. Huh. I've heard that term before. In their conversations between Koval and Gorski. No, Jasna. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... I... I don't see anything like it now, sir. Wait. Koval noted down the parameters. Azimuth 350. Distance 200 meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. Over there. Black bushes. Got it. I see the bushes. And the doctor? Hard to tell. Visibility is poor. Huh. It's going to be harder than before. I don't know how the doctor... But when it comes to finding a safe route, there won't be a problem. But you'll have to get there on your own two feet. I suppose a probe will carry out the first task. It's capable, yes? Of course. I set the environment analysis mode. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. It'll guide you along the defined path. The calculations will only take a moment. I don't trust it. Would you ever stream a Fallout game? Yes. <laughs> I love Fallout. Hi, Luna. 
Lead the way. Love Fallout. So I don't. I mean, they are I making a Fallout say, Five, but that might be years away from that. Never device as probe of ours. They could not fly for this long. Yes, longer than you can stand on your feet. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. Well, yeah. Let's not exaggerate. I don't know. For me, it's only a matter of time before machines surpass their creators. The only question is when. Foreshadowing. Um, it's good to switch up games, keep things fresh. That's true. And I have been wanting to jump into uh, Fallout 76. I played it when it originally launched and it wasn't like taking my breath away. But they've had a lot of updates. They've had a lot of patches. And I mean, Golden Gag, GG is loving it. So I might jump in and play some Fallout 76 with uh, GG, Golden Gag. Or I just might just do it on my own. I don't know. I get a good schedule because, you know, he's over in Europe. So we, we might not line up right on that. But I want to jump into that. I want to jump into Valheim. I've been itching to play some Valheim lately. Seeing everyone else play Valheim. I'm like, oh, I want to play some Valheim. But this is definitely on my list. The Invincible, we are going to... I'm going to be playing this to completion. Granted, it might only be like a five-hour long game. I don't know. But I'll take it. Oh, we have a problem. Something serious? Huh. Maybe it's true that machines will surpass us. But not today. <laughs> the route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, no. Go around. Uh, unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. Really? Exponentially? <laughs> Can you imagine us, protonaceous creatures, developing so quickly, sir? No, not in the course of evolution. You can't perfect a person like that. That's right, you can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. Have you started to fear for your position? Well, everything indicates that the clear distinction between humans and robots will soon disappear. And then what? Well, if we assume that they'll surpass us, things will get complicated. Because in order to program a brain with computing power equal to that of a human, you need a brain with computing power higher than that of a human. Ergo, a man cannot make a machine smarter than a man. Then who else would design it? Self-learning algorithms? Some spontaneous process? Or pure chaos? Something inhuman, that's for sure. Shh, Astrogator, can you hear that? What am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. Silence. We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, no, no. He must be a long way from here. Well, the other people around you... Okay, Dr. Yasna. <laughs> the other people were either completely mentally broken or dead. So I would bet one of the two... For Dr. Gorski. Anyway. I don't think 76 is that good. I mean, I haven't played it recently, so I couldn't judge it. I know that when it released, it wasn't that great. I would prefer, uh, you know, a single player version of Fallout. But I've heard that a lot of the content they've added in patches and updates have made the game really good. So I don't know. Uh, this game looks wild. Definitely going to pick it up. Yes, Jacob, do it do it i mean it's 30 dollars, depending on 30 us dollars depending on where you are in the world it'll cost a little bit more a little bit less Dr. Gorski, are you here somewhere oh you have the bushes and i don't know how long it is i would assume it's around five maybe six hours but it could be longer i don't know we have been going for over two hours now and it feels like we're not not done we're not getting towards the end it doesn't feel like maybe it cuts off but i don't think so I think we still have plenty to do. These bushes are kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. 
Allow me to use a language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary, brush like formations. They're moving. I thought they were metallic. They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. They're high, more or less, from one to several meters. I'm pretty sure our probe was taking pictures, right? You can't get pictures of this? They can be singular, though in some locations they create a uniform thicket that covers the walls of the ravine in a rusty brush-like layer. That's how it looks, to put it briefly. Would you also venture to guess their significance? Some function, purpose? Looking at the amount of sharp ends and edges, they're rigid. Probably a very hard structure, not to mention their appearance. Yes? These bushes must serve a defensive function. Defensive? Against what? Good question. I don't see anything they could compete with. No potential predator on the surface or in the air. So, uh, maybe it's something underground. Hmm. Yes, maybe. Astrogator, Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. So we will most likely lose contact too. Uh, possibly. Well, there's only one way to be certain. It's oh. your decision, sir. Please continue your search. We have to find him. That's the unwritten rule, isn't it? Under no circumstances do we leave anyone behind. That's right, Doctor. You can lose everything else, but you have to have the crew on board. The living and the dead. This is one of the most crucial imperatives, even though it's not in the regulations. Earlier, he was going to leave Merritt. He didn't care about Merritt. Now I'm getting suspicious. He's going back on what he said earlier. Let's go into this cave. We're about to lose radio communication. Yeah, these are metal. What in the world? Metal bushes, you guys. It's better. I played it on a test server. I've got about 300 hours in it. New comment content done not that long ago. Nice. See, I do need to jump in there and play it a little bit. Here comes the bad stuff. I know hopefully it's not a jump scare because there's a lot of these bushes. The line's breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel. Yeah, go through the bushes. Touch them. Ooh. Seems like a bad idea. Flashback. Oh, of her landing. Okay. This is her landing. Already at 12,000. Throttle down. 30 seconds till touchdown. Everything's looking good. Over. Roger that. Altitude 5,000. Ignition tech set. A record data drop out, but otherwise still looking good. That is no. Hopper has landed. I repeat, Hopper has landed. Astrogator, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you? All good. Spine still in one piece. Yeah, kind Any of. Signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. Oh. I'm going outside. Visibility? 100%. The dust has already settled. 
Okay, so this is when we landed. Huh. I've located the second lander. We're right All next to it. people are still on this planet. Ah, very good. I was afraid they might try to fly off, which wouldn't be the best idea given the loss of communication with Dragonfly. Sir, something's wrong. What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew, Doctor. Right. Oh, uh, yeah, this doesn't look good. And? How is it? Even if they wanted to, they couldn't go back to Dragonfly. Their lander looks damaged, to put it mildly. Or more accurately, it, it seems like a storm has passed through it. Understood. I mean, I don't understand how it happened. But that means... Hopper is the only vehicle that can take us home. Affirmative. Right. But then we can't afford another mistake. I'm taking the lander into orbit. I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone. Okay. Astrogator, I think... I don't know what we expected. Coming here at the end of our expedition. The equipment is barely working. If it works at all. And you, sir. You barely escaped alive. Okay, I admit that we have a very successful campaign behind us, but I feel like we've used up all our luck. And now, we're asking for trouble. Yeah. It's just one planet too many for us. Which doesn't change the fact we're here. Let's focus on completing this mission. There won't be another. Where does this certainty come from, Astrogator? HQ can send us as many directives as they please, justified or not. I won't let that happen. We have the Imprimis Homini law to refer to. The Commonwealth cannot achieve its goals at the expense of the people. At the expense of my crew. But isn't that exactly what's happening? The situation is bad, Astrogator. Though it wasn't much better at the beginning of the mission. Whoever sent us here didn't care about our safety at all. Enough! Please don't put me in an even more difficult position. Rejecting a new mission and questioning the validity of the current one are two different issues. And you're one step away from disciplinary action, Doctor. Copy that. Over and out. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, landing went oh. okay, yeah. Damn. Same, kind of. You were right, Cobble. It's beautiful here. That red sun. It quote, I'm so generic, I prefer the generic one. <laughs> what? Are, where is that from? October of 2023? I don't even know where that was from. <laughs> uh, it's just like the IRL missions to Mars. They want to send the initial crew will die there. Well, yeah, there's no way back at, at this point, at this point. But um, it sounds like in this universe, in the invincible universe, this is like a normal thing. Like they send crews to explore different planets to see if there's any like materials or like minerals we can use on them. So it's like a normal occurrence. Like, oh, go explore. And if you find any good stuff, let us know so we can go mine that planet. You know, and so they're constantly checking out different planets. When you admire a beautiful view, an hour seems like a minute. But a yep. minute on a hot stove will seem longer than an hour. Does Regis 3 feel like a hot stove? Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this one, they have, uh, obviously. Have an object in sight. Oh. Have a rope. This is where they searched the ocean's biosynosis. Meaning, oh, where they caught that fish, right? Well, they stopped here first, then walked along the coastline northward. Correct. But I think you might consider taking a shortcut towards the east, straight to the camp. Okay, we're going to the uh, camp. So this is still... Heading east. This is her memory, like when they first landed. So what happened to make me black out? Huh. I stopped for a break. How do you know? Are there any signs of the crew? 
some slob left litter here. Have no respect for an alien ecosystem at all. Lemmy. What kind of litter? Cigarette butt. A crumpled pack. So, taking off the helmet for no good reason. Risk of igniting a dusty atmosphere. Irresponsible spreading of DNA. Compared to this, the damage of an already extinct ecosystem is basically a negligible issue. That's true. It's just, apart from keeping our crew safe, I also have academic concerns. That's completely understandable, Doctor. However, we must focus on the mission. It has the highest priority, always. Forgive me, but such thinking is an anti-example of the galactocentric code. We should explore other worlds, while keeping our own interference to a minimum, whether in the solar system, in the far reaches of the Milky Way, or in a completely different galaxy. Mm -hmm. I've heard a thing or two about galactocentrism. Do not meddle in other non-human matters. Seize the void, but do not attack that which has developed its own equilibrium over millions of years. Do not consider anything other than human as either better or worse. It all sounds beautiful, Doctor. But no one will be satisfied with a void, or someone else's well-being. In my opinion, this is an idealized doctrine of scientists who spend most of their lives idly gazing at the sky. Like me? Not at all. You are actively involved. Excuse my interruption, sir. Can you please confirm that I'm on the correct route? Yes, I confirm. This raid will reach the camp within an hour. So, continuing. <laughs> Not continuing? Oh, I didn't reach the end yet. <laughs> I gotta reach the checkpoint. You are very calm, Jason. I don't know what that means, Mike. Very calm? Very calm? I mean, I don't think this is a horror game. I'm treating it more like, uh, like Fort Solace. So Fort Solace was kind of a suspense game. Towards the end, it kind of got into like the, the creepy horror factor. This is more of an exploration, like what the heck happened? So it's just interesting. And I've read the book. Passage. So I kind of know. Please speed ahead. We still have a long way to go. Mother, What's kind of happening? You should save your breath, Astrogator. Um, I'm guessing we gotta go to left. So I'm gonna go this way instead. Go through the water. Uh, redeem, scare Jason's pants off. No. <laughs> uh, uh, quote 69. Bob's riding around naked with a cowboy hat, looking for bears, not judging. <laughs> Uh, Jason, the best voice on YouTube. Well, I appreciate that. I don't know if I have the best, but I speak eloquently most of the time. <laughs> and there's times where I just, I get like, it's too excited and I, I, I'm talking too quickly. We got to make that redeem, old explorer. No, no. I heard that the difference between past, present, Astrogator. and future. I found a peculiar inorganic structure. It looks like some spiky metal growths. Artificial plants? Is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure? Oh, I've never seen anything like this. I wish I had time to run some tests. When the situation is stabilized, we will take samples. I promise. Yeah. Oh, now we're fading back. Oh. Is she blacking out now? Is this where she blacks out? Oh. I feel nauseous. Suddenly. That's not it. I feel darkness. Hello. This is where she blacks out. Oh, no, no. She got through it. Okay. But she's freaking out. She's touching it. <laughs> Matt.
magically we got through that valley, right? Yep. Oh, she's breaking it again. I have a feeling these bushes are causing headaches and blackouts and things like that. Uh, they look like dandelions almost, like really, really uh, bad dandelions, and they're massive. Are you there? Over. I guess that's a no. Hazardous plants? It feels like it. Like, I wouldn't mess with a plant you don't know anything about. I mean, I am wearing a space suit, but I don't know if that's enough. Is everything all right? Yes. Yes, all good. They're already in the infirmary on life support. You've heard the time. Uh, yes. Maybe them. But Maritz. You're too hard on yourself, Yasna. As usual. But if I... Please stop. If it's a very cruel word, you don't deserve to talk it. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're like a network for energy transfer. Could be. Could be. I don't know. They, they're, they're connected. They're metallic and they're connected to that big vein. So there's something that's growing in the ground that's metallic. And it sprouts those bushes. Oh. I confirm Gorski was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. <sighs> Why hasn't he yet? Yeah. Oh, look at his climbing gear. Nice. <sighs> going down after him now, tell me one more thing when it comes to Marit are you going to use a grave tapper yes I'm considering that as a possibility and what is your opinion should we look into our brain the more we know the better chance. Oh God! Ooh. <laughs> that was dumb. How oh, about the end of the rope? Isn't that good? Not at all. What do you mean? I'm stuck. I'm hanging with Can all I swing? my weight on the rope. Away from the wall. There's still a fair few meters left to the ground. Let's swing. Let's go back. Using just my hands, strapped with all this extra weight. No, not a chance. What if you sway? Yeah, come on. No. Jump. Can I sway? I am not jumping. What? Are you serious? Woman, huh. no good. I can't reach anything. Uh, any other ideas? Oh, god, we're gonna have to jump out. Yeah, because I can't swing. Come on, you can swing. I can just jump off. Is that safe? No, a substantial fall on unsteady ground. This is hardly a maneuver that I would describe as safe. Yeah, look at that. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. I'm thinking if Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything. Yeah, we don't know that yet. That's a lot of ifs. Could keep going even with injuries. Well, I'm not hanging here forever if we still haven't come up with anything. <laughs> there is a certain possibility, or rather uncertain, but maybe it's worth trying. Like what? Astrogator, as much as I love complex analysis, I'm really sick of all this hanging. <laughs> of course. Can you see the probe? Yeah. Yes. It's flying near me. Good. 
Can it fly if with I me? I it to fly as close as possible to you. You could grab onto it. Okay. Are you sure it will hold me? That I cannot guarantee. All right. Let's give it a try. This thing looks like it's going to light me on fire. Oh, God. Me. Two meters forward. Stop, that's enough. You have a really good eye. Exactly two meters. Hold on to it, yes. Now, holy cow. Is that the new you could say so. I fell from a lower height. It was a soft landing, though. Genius. And nothing happened to the probe. Even better. Uh, as long as it slopes, you would be fine. No sudden impact and more. As smooth as... Dude, Scar, you see these rocks? That, how far is that fall? That looks like, what, 12 feet? Onto rocks with a suit on? That would puncture my spacesuit, definitely. I'm not doing that. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. You see all that? Look at this. That's a big old structure. See? Outside the last contact with Regis yes. a few minutes after noon. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Damn. This place is amazing. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Uh, maybe that's why Dr. Gorski, not to mention the Alliance. Well, if we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. Yeah. They look like a city. No, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. Dr. Gorski set up the flags. Sir, he kept going, despite the lack of communication with the rest. You'd have to see it with your own eyes, sir. This place. Gorski may have lost himself in his discovery. Are you joking, Doctor? Lost himself? Gorski? He may not have respect for the unknown, but he has his feet firmly on the ground. I think he must have discovered something. Yeah. And since he suffers from excessive ambition, he's capable of stupid acts in the name of a breakthrough. Well, I admit, that sounds more like him. You must trace his steps, Doctor. I'm working on it. Are you receiving a signal? What signal? From Dr. Gorski. No, no. Why are you asking? He tried to open up a connection, set up a transmitter. There's nothing on the comms, but I'll check the record history. Please give me a moment. <sighs> Left or right? The height of the entire complex is over 100 meters, even 150. And all made of this metal? Yeah. To a significant degree. If something were to live here... Yes? It would have to be very small, like insects. On the other hand, there's no floor around to support such organisms. There's the bushes. The bushes are out there. All right, so we have a clearance over there and we have a blocked way over there. Oh, we're gonna go left. Uh, Dr. Gorski must be an Olympic athlete. No, he probably got lucky. That's all that was. Oh, I can't even get over there, okay. Oh, no, no, I could go that way. Oh, God, left or right? Left or right? Let me look at my...
Left or right? Because it looks like we can go along the side and go over there for the clearance. Have you chosen where to go? I'm still wondering. Yeah. There's no time to hesitate, Doctor. Let's go right. We need to take decisive action. You missed the gap behind you. Did I? I don't remember that. Oh, this part right here. I mean, if you're talking about this. I mean, yeah, there is a gap. So it looks like you can go that way, the left, or you can go right. I'm going to go right. All right. I'll try to walk this kind of bridge. Yeah, if you're talking about that gap in the rocks that I could have squeezed through. Two more hours. That's all Gorsky has left of oxygen at best. And at worst? He's just finishing it up. Though it all depends on his activity. If I remember correctly, the atmosphere here is breathable. Basically, yes. Dr. Krauser, however, warned that the methane content... I know, I know. But the effects won't be immediate. That gives us a few extra hours. Yeah. We got a few extra hours. Uh, yep, yep. Okay, yeah, George. Yeah, I kind of... I saw that, but you got to choose one or the other. It sounded like... Oh, God. Really? Okay, over here. Past the terrain. Those structures. Scary. Are they still everywhere? Yep. Wherever I look, there's metal. It's all metal. Oh, I don't like this at all. Look at this. Oh, God. Yes, sir. What's going on? Just a sec. That got me. <laughs> I need to get... I need to... I need to get out. Jesus Christ. Okay. Go, go, go. Phew. Again. Maybe you should use the detector. Will indicate the thickness of the structures. Tune your metal detector to find brittle structures. How do I tune it? It says left. I'm assuming. I'm guessing that's weak. Okay. Okay. I can see go. a safe route on the detector. Okay. That would have been nice to know beforehand. I'm going to sound like a broken record, but the oceanic forms here are similar to those on Earth. So there should be similarities on land as well. Similarities? Life, Astrogator. Yeah. I still think there should be life on the surface of Regis 3. <laughs> Clean shorts now. Nah, I'm wearing my brown pants today. I was, I was ready. I was prepared. Oh, we're going to have to walk across this bridge, and there's weak spots on that one. Great. Okay. What was that? <laughs> Why are you yelling like that? After all. From Gorski. It's hard to tell. There are errors in the transmission header. I'm going to play it so we'll find out. Gorski to base. I repeat, this is Gorski. Base, come in. No doubt. It's him. Now let's keep listening. But as soon as you report anything, Doctor, I'll stop the recording. Bugger. No confirmation again. I report. An amazing discovery. Geometric structures, the a thicket of bushy pointed rods and slats. Mostly iron, but not only. Molybdenum, carbon, tungsten. Altogether similar to a giant integrated circuit. A 
billion swarm of tangled cables. Not a trace of electric current, polarity, not even residual magnetism. Maybe once upon a time, centuries ago, petawatts or exawatts of power flowed this way. Yeah, to compare with something, it's, it's probably a machine. Some kind of information collective structure. Maybe it was some kind of electronic brain. It makes me think of the Lyrans. A race of extinct sentient beings. Supposedly, they knew about light astrogation before we invented the wheel. They had to save themselves from the explosion of Nova. They sent ships. The remains of the remains of those ships have been found ashed to a chip glued together. I've seen hypothetical schematics. The structures here remind me of those. Okay, moving on. Readings. Mm. Well, that's it. What follows is just a humming noise. Any thoughts, Doctor? Oh, so far, it all leads to one conclusion. This is not a place for a man. Nor for any humanoids. No. Then who is it for? Maybe it's really an alien technology. Those Lyrans. Uh, as far as I know, all information about the Lyran civilization is just guesswork. Many consider Lyrans to be just a myth, so I wouldn't take it too seriously. Well, I think there might be something to it. Yeah. By the way, you were right, Doctor. Gorski did lose himself in his discovery, in spite of everything. So now let's check out his abandoned things. Can we not? Can I not do that? Can I not radio it or anything? What? I can see the relay up close. Looks broken. This is starting to look like a deliberate diversion to me. Uh, you may be right. The question is, who's behind all these disruptive activities? That I don't know, sir. Can I grab that? Can I mention it? No, I guess not, huh? My logical side, yep, abandoned. He, it looks like it, and this is just me guessing. He destroyed this machine, this uh, this dish, and he left all of his electronics. Like, he doesn't have any machines with him, any equipment with him. And it looks like he did that on purpose. So maybe he thinks that the, uh, the machines are giving him away, or we can track him with that. He doesn't want to be tracked. He doesn't want us following him. Oh, wait. Look over here. Yeah, look at this. This is massive. This is like a huge, like, city. Look at that. Up. There are more traces. This time handprints. And a drop detector. What? Did I hear you right? Yes, sir. You heard correctly. I'm afraid we must be ready for any eventuality. Well, that doesn't mean we should assume the worst. I still believe you'll find him, Doctor. So he dropped all of his equipment. Or maybe he ran away and he dropped it all because it was heavy? He's like, look, I gotta run quick, and if I'm carrying all this stuff with me, it's just gonna slow me down. Wait a minute. Oh, I kept hearing my radar go off. Oh, that looks like we have to go over there. So let's check over here first. Don't want to leave anything behind. Oh, that looks like a far jump. I found something. Again. Obviously. This seems to prove that Gorski's behavior is rational. Mm -hmm. He must have lost his mind. Did you see that right now? Without even seeing it? I wish I was wrong, Astrogator. 
But I can't think of any other explanation. He's leaving all of his equipment behind. That's not a smart move. Or something made him leave that stuff behind? Maybe. But it's like... It's in random spots. Like, it's not all in... He didn't take it all off at once. Like, he's leaving things here and there. So... He's just slowly... Not trusting it. No passage. Alright, I guess we do have to go over the, uh... The spot that has all the broken stuff. Or the fragile pieces. Uh, they could be roots from those plants. They could be, but I mean, they, they don't look like they're leading to the plants. I feel like... I don't think... Okay. Like, I don't think that these are the roots of the plants. I think that the plants are sprouting from this structure. Like, um... Almost like a fungus. So it's not that the plants... These are the roots of the plants. I think that the plants are growing off of this. Like, the, this structure is, like, sprouting the, the, the bushes. On the edge. So, yeah, it would be, like, more of, like, a, a mushroom growing on a tree. The tree doesn't need the mushroom, and the mushroom doesn't need the tree. It just so happens to be coming from it. Something is luring her into a trap using Dr. Gorski. I know. I think that Dr. Gorski lost his mind. I think he took his helmet off. He's breathing in the methane and he, he's like gone crazy. Because they said you would kind of, uh, you would, uh, what do they call it? Mental instability. If you breathe in too many, too much methane for too long, it could be that. <laughs> Yep, that's his equipment. Yeah, he's leaving everything. I don't like that. Oh, I definitely don't like that. There's another thing over here. There's something on the other side of this uh, wall. Great. Finally, I have his position. Official? Uh, not yet. He's crazy. Gorski, are you here? It's me, Yasna. Still nothing? Yeah. I don't trust it. Where's my uh, radar? Oh, it's up here somewhere. Maybe it's his suit. Maybe he took his suit off. He's running around the planet naked and crazy. This is backpack. I found his backpack. You know what that means, sir. Yes, he's without oxygen. We must help. He's without oxygen. He's losing it. I bet you he's crazy. Oh, or he's dead. Oh, there he is. <sighs> Got him. <sighs> he's not moving. He has his helmet up. Come on, dude. He's breathing. Gorski. Gorski. Look at me. His eyes are closed. <sighs> is he breathing? He's alive, but barely. Did he react in any way? Saturation is within the lower range. 
risk of tissue hypoxia. Are the reactions? Put his Gorski. visor down. Come on. Calm down, Doctor. Get him out of there. The probe's already looking for a landing site. At least he's not crazy. I thought he would okay. be breathing in all the methane and just going nuts. Put his visor down. He's out. I activated his SOS. You should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. Well? No, nothing. The transmission in the suit must be too weak. Should I retrieve his booster from the backpack? No, no point. Better to send for a relay. We have to do it anyway so that Hopper can land in this maze. Really? Have a proof of the recent mechanical surroundings. There's an open area nearby. You have to move Gorski there. The probe will guide you. But he's not stable. I must share my oxygen with him, Astrogator. You'd need a spare for that. The protocol doesn't provide for connecting two suits at the same time. In that case, I'll give him my tank. Negative. I won't allow it, Caster. If you faint, the doctor won't carry you. I won't faint. The membrane looks intact. What did you say? I didn't hear. Hold on, Gorski. You guys still can't hear the doctor. Please repeat. Don't be angry, sir. But. Put his visor down. Please go ahead. After con after careful consideration, I gave Gorski my tank. We still don't know when you'll send the lander, so I, I can't leave him without oxygen. Doctor, I explicitly told you not to. Yeah, you don't. You're not down here, buddy. Already can, and Luna was here. We're good. Huh? Hey, wait, wait. Get in trouble running around the panel naked and crazy. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Jeez, Heather. Are you out in the open already? Sort of. Yes. Once you set up the transmitter, I should start it. I wonder what we would have done say if I skipped the transmitter earlier, would I not have a transmitter now? Oh god, yeah. There it is. Pulse, heart rate, saturation, almost within the range. Now, mark the place of the lander. Uh, oh jeez. What was that? I don't know. Everything is shaking. Uh, this is not good. No, no! Oh, Jesus. You better hold for two. Oh, jeez. Are we coming? Wow, she's strong. She picked up a body, dead weight, and walked about 50 feet. What? Hey, she doesn't have any oxygen. Oh, what was that? Can I wipe my visor here? I don't have any oxygen. There you go. Astrogator, hey, I, I'm underground. It's hard to determine my exact location. I got a couple hours at the Perfect. most. Do you copy? Base, come in. I'm sending an SOS. Anyone? Please. Okay. Stay calm. Just... Keep it together. Heartbeat's racing. But saturation hasn't dropped below the tissue norm. 
Not yet, at least. I need your oxygen now. <laughs> Well, thankfully, I gave him my oxygen. Gorski has my oxygen. So he should live. Me. Hopefully, I can find someone else's backpack and get the oxygen. Deposit of water. Probably unsafe for consumption. Yeah, I wouldn't drink that water. Oh, shit. Meteoric waters. No. Too deep. <sighs> Slippery terrain. Poor visibility. Bummer. Considering all factors. Situation. Hopeless. At least I got flat. Oh, come on. <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Your flare sucks. Come on. Oh, it is so dark. It is so dark. There's some light coming from somewhere. <laughs> A video of you, Heather. Careful. Oh, jeez. No. Well, that was a lucky landing. No chance. Deep abyss. Fucking great. No hope. <laughs> I just. Um, I like I how they had you look around. my considered opinion fucked but now she just closes her eyes and dies yes, yes. what what the who's that i, I can't see Cobble. You came back for me. She's hallucinating. But how? The lander took you. Koval, please. Speak to me. Can't speak. Nothing. That's not him. I'm so glad to see you, Yasna. I have so much to tell you, but we don't have time. We need to get out of here as soon as possible. How are you planning to do it? I won't jump over to you. There's a passage on the left. It should get easier from there. Meanwhile, I'll be watching you from above. As long as we have costs, you won't lose me. She's losing we'll be it. Out of here within an hour. You'll see. You have to be joking. I can barely stay awake. You're stronger than this, Yasna. Besides, as long as you talk with me, you'll stay awake. Now. Yeah, she's hallucinating. <laughs> so much for the rescue. Oh, yeah. Look at these little... Okay. Mm, nope. I don't trust any of these rocks. I think she's losing it. She's breathing too much methane in. Is this like No Man's Sky? It's more of a uh, story driven, so not not exactly. It's in space, <laughs> if that's what you mean. Are we gonna climb through this little Are you serious? That looks too small. Cobble, say something. I can't stand this silence. Do you want to do that? Do you what? Talk over your fears. There's no shame in being afraid. Don't worry. 
I'm at risk of dehydration, hypoxia, poisoning. It's no wonder I'm afraid. I already admire you. You know, I'm proud and rather worried at the same time. What you did for Gorski, well, I wouldn't be able to do that myself. I don't know why I left him my tank. Gorski is dead anyway. Uh, don't say that. We will return for him. Something attacked me up there. Oh, I probably got him too. Then we'll ask Novik. The old man monitors our parameters. Uh, he only tells us what he deems fit. You know that, Koval. Uh, yeah, I do. Still, you did the right thing. Oh, maybe I did. But I was stupid too. A complete failure of reason in an act of futile heroism. No. Nope. You never know. He could live! Uh, uh, is your equipment operational? Nothing damaged? Only the flares got wet. Besides that, what have you got on you? Procedural minima. <sighs> Telemeter, locator, metal detector. So, pretty much minimum. Ah, pity. <coughs> Wonder why they don't give us proper torches. <laughs> you tell me. Yeah, you tell me. They never give us anything good. Uh, this game would be like deliver us the moon, Mars. Almost, almost. Hey, hey, don't go so fast. I need to rest. What more hell? You can do it. Yeah, I think Yas does imagine him helping her. <laughs> enough just enough forward yasna faster we're racing against time come on we're fighting for our lives yasna enough of this nonsense i'm sick of fighting oh you're just gonna give up okay yasna i'm sorry i demand so much from you too much a moment ago, you said we'd be fine. And now you're letting me off so easily. Oh, it's not easy for me. Not at all. I'll be here with you until the end. Remember, none of this is your fault. You deserve to finally rest. No, I don't. I won't give up yet. I know. Can you stand? I need... Ah, catch my breath first. <sighs> like I said, I'll be here. I only wish I could somehow comfort you. All in all, I'm it's getting up, okay? The worst place. I knew you would find the strength. Yeah, I'm just going. <laughs> Don't push it. <laughs> Don't. Don't act up there. Imaginary guy. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, I will not give up. I never doubted it. Come on. Thank goodness. See? You made it. My whining did some good, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of did. Do you see this? Well, if you're talking about the coal deposits and the bones of prehistoric reptiles, then yes. What do you think that means? Well, isn't it obvious? Dinosaurs once lived on Regis Three. Yes. Are you mocking me, Covell? Not at all. Millions of years ago, this planet had to be teeming with life until something got rid of it all. At least on the land. 
It didn't allow organisms ashore. Or perhaps it stopped them from leaving the water. If so, I think it stops them to this day. In other words, it's still here, and it nips all manifestations of life in the bud. Why then have I not met it yet? Oh, I'm afraid you might have. Really? You know a lot, Koval. About what happened to me. Yeah. About these fossils. The old man told me. Uh, about Fuck life me. on Regis. About you. He's clueless regarding Regis. Only cares about gaining some illusory advantage in this sector of the galaxy. Even more fossils. And now there are no comms. No one will even know about this discovery. Oh, stop being so pessimistic. Mm -hmm. I really don't like the idea of our bones resting next to these ones. Well, at least an HQ will send another expedition. And they'll find all the bones together. Yeah. They'll find all of us together. Bet the fire was never hotter. What are you guys talking about in the chat? An ominous noise is happening here. Oh! He's always just magically out of reach. How come you're always a few steps ahead of me? Yeah. Simple. I walk faster. I walk faster. <laughs> yep. I walk Come fast. On. It's time to be among other people again. They're out there somewhere. I promise. He's just magically ahead of me, huh? Nope, nothing in there. Mm hmm. Feeble raid incoming! Feeble bum. Thank you so very much for the raid. I'm starting to have second thoughts. What if something's waiting for me? Something that calls my fall. You will overcome that fear just like the others. Because if you stay here, you will die. <coughs> yep, you will die. <laughs> Be raid. Uh, you would think Jason got suspicious of me there. <laughs> Maybe. <coughs> and rushing you so much it's just i had to pull you out of there somehow unfortunately i know my body is an empty shell i want to believe this is not our farewell if it is it has been an absolute pleasure <laughs> Let's go, Beeble Raid! Thank you so much for the raid, Beeble Bomb. Very much appreciated. I saw you playing Valheim earlier. I need to play some Valheim. I gotta warm up. We make it to the surface? Almost. Oh, we still have this. working again. Finally! Yes, sir. You can't even imagine. It's really good to hear your voice again, Doctor. Sir, I saw Koval. Yes, sir. Are you saying... I was hallucinating. Uh, I don't quite understand myself. Alright. Let's leave that for now. Are you injured in any way? Uh, no. What the crap? 
Um, that's not good. I'm still here, but I don't know how long for. Are you in danger? One could, could say so. A, a thing burned a hole in front of me. Now it's marching on these kind of crab legs. Stop. You must evacuate immediately. I recognize this noise. It's a damn thing that dropped me underground. It's very likely. I even have a suspicion of what exactly we're dealing with. One of the flagship machines of the Alliance would match the description. Walking antimatter cannon. Antimatter. Oh, fuck. Antimat. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes. I oh. think it's moving away from me. Excellent. Don't stop yet, though. How is it possible that the Alliance machine got here before us? Yeah. I'd like to know myself. If our intel's incorrect and Invincible already landed on Regis 3, they would have a huge advantage over us. So why would they confront our ship head on? I can see a passage, but it doesn't look very inviting. Oh, anyway. So why would they confront yeah. our ship head on? <laughs> Instead, they waste time on some shady diversion. Whoa! Shit! Don't move. I'm still here. I have to. I'm stuck. I can't move. Oh, it's coming at me. It's getting closer. It's gonna crush me. I'm gonna die here after all. <laughs> Attack it, yes. The pro Luna! for good. Oh, I found a box. Also a switch. Probably from the registry. Can you get the record? Let's see. Let's see. War of the Worlds? Almost, Scar. Almost. I'm really interested in playing this game as well. Dude, B. It is pretty phenomenal. So it's more of a uh, very narrative walking simulator, but I love it. It is so interesting. And if you've, if you've read the book, it is really, really good. You guessed right, sir. The Alliance is indeed already on the planet. They even managed to set up a field base. Headquarters have got it so wrong. According to intelligence, the Invincible was not due to arrive for another 14 days. Uh, I guess we should ask them back home. 14? He said 13 earlier. I think the captain, he's suspicious. He keeps messing up stuff. They set up a base already. Yeah, they were already scouting around. And they found something. Look at this. The shadows. They have their machines here. Their rovers here. What is this? Some kind of an explosion? What is that? Or portal? And that's me. That's me. Wow. It really did almost flatter me. New. Probe. It it distracted the antimats. You say that as if it did it on purpose. How else to explain it? Coincidence? 
I don't no. believe in such coincidences, Astrogator. Nope. Uh, NC or NK Vincent says, What up, Jason? Stop by to watch a bit. What's going on? Dude, we are playing a new game called The Invincible. Just came out today. It's a narrative game, walking simulator, like I said earlier, but man, it is good. It is based off of the uh, 1964 book called The Invincible as well. The sci fi, like retro sci fi game. And it's retro, like real retro. Like my, my, uh, my motion sensor is all like, uh, like very analog. It's very, very cool. I love the whole of the style of the game. It's so good. It got the, uh, it got Luna. It got Luna. Our, uh, our probe. Oh my God. Yeah. They, they fenced us off here. We get to our probe. We still don't have any oxygen, by the way. <laughs> Uh, I did not read it, so it's all new. So I'll just head off to bed and not get spoiled. I understand that completely, people. I'm seriously. It is 30 US dollars. It might be different in Malta. I don't know. <laughs> European euros is going to be different probably, but it's around $30. The probe was broadcasting a while ago, so maybe we can save its core. Oh, it's like it got sliced in half. Let's see what the probe was trying to do. You could say that since I found the probe, I haven't been alone. Uh, I'm sorry, Yasna. Maybe it can still be rebuilt. Anyway, you're not entirely alone. I feel like I've, I've lost another companion. My last one. You still have me. Not down here. Where's Gorski? What just happened? Oh, can we grab that? Hold down. Are you talking about the probe core? Huh. Well, they say in order to win over a person, you have to steal their heart. But the key is to get their brain. You know that's just a metaphor. Anatomically incorrect and highly overused, yes. <laughs> okay. Time to get out of here. Uh, Ogden says he said they had 13 days to explore before the uh, Invincible would get there. Yeah, I mean, that's true, I guess. So they, he was giving them so, he was giving them one day to basically escape before the Invincible showed up. I mean, yeah, it could be. I don't know. I'm still not trusting ah, the captain. No good. You simply don't get a break. What is it this time? Stormfront is approaching your location. Now of all times. I know, Doctor, but please muster up a little more strength. Let's not forget that the Alliance is in the vicinity. Wait a minute. Do you have any specific expectations of me since I'm nearby their troops? It's hard to call them specific. We need to learn more. You're missing the most important thing, sir. We still have to save Gorski. No. I, I don't know what your silence means. Uh... I was going to tell you later. I'm really sorry. What? His readings. No. No, don't finish. That's impossible. You did absolutely everything you could. Unfortunately, sometimes even that's not enough. I did nothing. Just nothing. By the way, how are you feeling? Are you asking about? I mean the lack of your oxygen tank. So, how are you feeling? I've already experienced what Dr. Krauter referred to as mild cerebral symptoms. Actually, Koval participated in them. Mm -hmm. What? How? I had a long and heartfelt conversation with him. Uh, please don't ask for details. So that anti mat just kind of cleared out of this whole big cave for me. Uh, Scar says uh, they should do more story-driven games based on books. 
Yes. This, especially this developer, Starward, dude. They are killing it with this. This is so good. Yeah, so you're freaking out. You're okay. So if they do more like this, holy cow. This is really good. I am really enjoying this game. Is she freaking? Yeah, she's just... Okay. She's just freaking out. She can't breathe. Come on. We can do it. Don't pass out before we get out of the cave. Oh, damn it. Oh. The storm's getting worse. Storm is here. Oh, great. Hopefully this is like regular rain and not like acid rain. Inside, yes. Are you sure? Please take a look around. It's clear. No one's coming out with me. I'm all alone. Is that disappointment I hear? Not disappointment. There's no one inside either. The equipment looks on damage, though. It's just scared the pee right out of me. I know, I know. But it's important. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Somebody just show up when I look out the door. Are you gonna close the door? Close the door, Yasna. Are you serious? Get in there, get in there. I guess we're not closing doors. Whew. Uh, at least Jason does not need a restroom break. Exactly. We're good. We're good. The engine started. Then what are you waiting for? Leave this cursed place. Ah. Oh. Whoo! That scared the pee right out of me, man. Lightning strike with. Are you driving? I'm going. Please talk to me. And maybe that will calm me down. Oh shit! It hit the bonnet. Don't worry. Even if it hits the rover directly, you'll come out and skate. Yeah, the vehicle is, is kind of a Fahrenheit cage. The, the energy will flow through the body, discharge it to the ground. I'm not worried. I'm a goddamn oasis of peace. <laughs> yes. And there are exceptions, you know. Such as the windshield shattering at high voltages. Doesn't stress me out at all. We're not driving? I remember a mission on Eden 5. At that time, I was still a coordinator. Oh, there we the go. Crew was quite similar. Chemist, cyberneticist, a doctor, 
an engineer and a physicist. Simple recall. Here, let me drive. Holy f But there was a miscalculation and we crashed the rocket. Then we put it back together. <laughs> For whatever was on hand, it's quite a machine. A true Frankenstein's monster, so to speak. Even more terrifying were the creatures we found on the surface of Eden. Oh, wait. Creatures? You are making this up, aren't you, sir? Not at all. I was indeed on a mission to Eden. However, I might have <laughs> exaggerated a bit. A bit, yes. They let you drive. Like, I'm literally doing the driving. I was wondering why she wasn't moving. Maybe here. Oh, jeez. Maybe here. <laughs> I like how they put that there. Oh, don't need that. I feel like the lightning might be powering up whatever this is. Oh, jeez. Oh, we're in a tunnel. Thank God. Oh. This way. Go, go, go. I like how she had to get an oxygen. I just realized she had to get an oxygen tank, even though she's inside of a rover. Like you'd think there'd be oxygen in here. Go this way. To the right. I have no idea where we're going. I'm just like going in a direction that feels like a normal way, like the good way to go. I'm having trouble finding the right way. You've got to head southwest. How am I supposed to know where southwest is? I don't have a compass. Remember. The city attracts light to the field. I'm riding into a cave. The stormers subsided okay all right we're just driving through the night very next netflix lost in space all right i didn't see the uh the show i watched the movie and the old show that's not it i left the structures behind it's an ordinary rock formation even better you have to catch your breath eventually. Can I ask for one thing? Could you find the model number of the rover? Uh, what for? I've got an idea, but it depends on the model. Uh, Emmett 2001. Could that be it? Uh, let me see. Bingo. Emmett's so equipped with the black box. Please find it. The black box, huh? I have yeah. the box, but it's all locked up. Wait. Uh, you must have changed the equipment because I have no information about a key. Where did you even get a catalog of their gear from, sir? Yeah. And anyway, it doesn't matter. What should I do? One second. I need to think. Don't know if this can help. But the alliance labels black boxes as data lockers. You will get cable access. Look for something resembling a socket and a plug. I think I have something like that. Then you can connect to the probe's brain there. And presto. It won't work. These inputs are not compatible with Commonwealth plugs. From the outside, our equipment is different, but inside we have the same guts, so to speak. The cable on the back of the box should already fit. Same guts, hey? Just like with humans. Okay, it's in. Okay. 
Well done, Doctor. I'm receiving a signal. So, what now? You can finally rest. It'll take me a while to dig through all the records. Okay. Gonna take a minute for him to download everything. Alliance Heroes. Is that a glowing light over there? The rover was connected to a base. The one from the slides? Uh, most probably. Yeah. Transmitting from the base. I suggest you lie down. The storm is raging. It may not be that simple. I'm too tired to sleep. Yeah, I know that paradox all too well. Can I help you somehow? If we talk, maybe I'll finally fall asleep. Naturally. Have anything specific in mind? Yes, actually. I wasn't able to report it earlier, but I found fossils underground. Fossils? Based on my brief observations, they belong to lizard-like creatures. Really? Amazing that something lived on this sterile rock. Please forgive the question, but are you sure? Well, I didn't imagine them, did I? Don't think so. I don't know. It felt real. Why don't I try to find some confirmation in the Alliance data? For now, let's talk about something else. Instead of getting ahead of ourselves. A more light-hearted subject, perhaps. May I ask why you became an astronaut? There are two answers to this question. An honest one, and a personal lie. To give you the clearest picture of the truth, I'd have to tell you both. I'm all ears. As cadets, we participated in a series of meetings. HQ organized them to encourage potential recruits. We all said the same thing, just a little different. We all wanted to push the boundaries of human potential, discover what is undiscovered. I remember childhood memories when we first heard about the brave forces of the Commonwealth. Sometimes these speeches were already being prepared during the training, if you understand what I mean. Every astronaut wished to explore space. They had to wish that. But my reason, an honest reason, not a nice sounding memory that never happened. I've never been able to find my place. So I came to the conclusion that I would not find it anywhere except out here, in space. Although I never dreamed of exploring. Such lofty ideas as expanding human limits were of little interest to me. It was among my crew that I... <laughs> Thank you for that story. I just passed out. Wait, Astrogator, can you explain to me what I'm hearing right now? This is a recording from the rover. The Alliance has apparently broken the encryption of our radio channel. Oh, bollocks. So, so what do we do? We need to change the frequency and the encryption key. What's the point? As soon as you give me a new channel, they will overhear us and change it as well. Just look at the probe's brain. Luna? What's with... All you have to do is watch it closely. I'm switching now. Waiting for you to join. Oh, I see. The new frequency is... Okay, the channel is active. Now the encryption key. The first three digits of the cipher are... Three, two, seven. There we go. Uh, the next is... 
two, one, four. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm here. Well done. Oh, got it. Time. So, how should we continue? Uh, don't you need more time to rest? I do. But there's no way I'm going to sleep now. Besides, nothing's stopping me anymore. The storm has subsided. All right. And let's not risk evacuating directly from the city. Should be safer outside its perimeter. I took the liberty of looking through the photos of the nearby area. Everything north and east of your location looks relatively safe. So? Should I go back to the ship? That's an odd question. Of course you should come back. Now even more than ever. Very concerned for your safety, Doctor. Uh, no need to be. I'm fine. Okay. Leave the city. Oh, yeah, turn on the... Oh, she's driving now. Okay. Is this one of those narrative linear adventure games? Yes, Obi-Wan. Yes, it is. And it's pretty good. Astrogator, I think I've gone far enough. There is a vast open area in front of me. Astrogator? Really? Oh, you want me to drive? Okay. The city is no longer visible. We need to decide what to do next. Dragonfly, over. Are you there? Yes, yes, please excuse me. I was in the infirmary. Is the coast clear? Yep, all clear. Good. Give me a moment. I'm looking at the satellite images. Hm. Have you checked on Koval by any chance? Yes, among other things. And? How is he? He's stable. But? There are no buts, Doctor. You'll see him soon. All right, I've got it. Sector AZ-25... Let's say AZ-2504. Please check if it's fit to land. Get out and check. Okay. Look at this. This is so good looking. Like I said, it looks good. Clear opening, flat terrain. Excellent. Please go there while I prepare the lander. I'll just pack Artie inside. So that's it. You're taking me to the dragonfly. We're flying away from here for good. We have no other choice, Doctor. At this stage of the mission, we can only minimize losses. You understand that, don't you? Yes, sir? Are you sure that's all we can do? Couldn't we? Don't you even think about it. About what? You didn't let me finish, sir. Uh, but I know what might be on your mind. Going back for Gorski's body, contacting the Alliance, or continuing research on your own. These are not possibilities. A certain death. Please remember, we have just one lander left. As a commander, I must first ensure your safe return. Only then I'll send Artie with other tasks. Trying to save me. Miyogi's in the chat. Hello, Miyogi. How are you this uh, Monday? Choose your further destination. Road to the Alliance base. Road to the landing zone. What is this? Can I go to the... Can I go get his body? Gorski? to the Alliance base. I'm sure that uh, Astrogator knows. What do you mean? You know very well what I mean, sir. I'm not 
coming back. This is sheer madness. You're heading straight to the enemy base. This is the only way I can find out what's going on here. What happened to our people? But I have several hours of travel ahead of me. You can still turn back. No. And if you try to convince me otherwise, I'll just turn the radio off. Fine. I'll stop insisting. Please just understand the position you put me in. As a commander, now I have to decide whether to risk detection by the Alliance. I totally understand. Can't even wait for a few more hours. I still need your support, sir. And I still want to be here to help you. Please don't turn off your radio. I'm not going anywhere. Nice. He's at least he's gonna stay with me. Well, sir, can't wait till Alien Fire Trap tomorrow. Nice. Well, everyone, if you have not hit the like button, I would appreciate if you did. Yes, sir. Yes. I understand that no matter what I say it won't change your mind, but please be careful. First, observe them from a distance, and only then take action. I will be cautious, like always. Just because I'm acting against your orders doesn't mean I intend to be foolish, sir. It's comforting in its own way that even in an act of insubordination, you want to remain professional. <laughs> I'll let yeah. you know when you cross their perimeter. Once you've crossed, hide the rover. Behind a bend, run to a ledge. Telemetry observation will be vital. Once we know the camp's weaponry situation, we'll decide what to do next. Copy that. Trying to find their base. Hey, what was that? I've set up a warning signal. Now you're near enough that they can see the rover. They can see the rover then. They park this thing. They don't want them to see it. There's no ledge. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, great. Take it out. Let's see. I don't want them to see me. The graphics are really good. They are pretty dang good. Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah, look at that thing. Oh, hideout? What? I thought I would have to hide it somewhere else. Okay, well, let's go back and get it. We'll hide it over there, I guess. Jason giving away with Mafia 2 and Dragon Ball tomorrow. Oh, nice! Yes! Yes! Nice! Heck yeah! undercover okay the rover's hidden you've yet to find a convenient hideout for yourself from where you can see their base let's see some object is flying over their base can you tell me more it's 15 20 meters high it has an upright silhouette and it looks like a a balloon. Uh, it could be a balloon. And that doesn't surprise you? Not everything that flies needs jet engines. What markings does it have? RB1. What does it mean? It's an ID number. Denotes an advanced scout balloon. How far from you is it? Around 400. Not as far as I would like it to be. It might have you within camera range. It's a field base, multi-module, 
for about several dozen people. Rather well equipped. Huh. Has lots of transporters here. Oh. I'm not surprised. Missions with a large crew. Transport modules were an integral part of the field camp. Remind me, how many crew members were they supposed to send on the Invincible? Over a hundred. Great. They have a second antimat. As if the first one wasn't enough. Is it active? Uh, probably not, but Proton alone knows. What about people? Can you see anyone? Not yet. Maybe they're hiding in modules. Most of them for sure, but I'd be surprised if they didn't assign anyone to guard duty. I see someone. Just one? For now, yes. Is that all? I think so. And please keep going. We can assume that their equipment has already detected your presence. Or it will soon enough. There's no point in further postponing the inevitable. Still, I'm glad that I stopped. I feel better knowing that there's no heavily armed military waiting for me there. Me too, Doctor. Me too. I don't know about that. Oh. Come on. Look at all this machinery. What the heck? What are they doing? Are they trying to excavate it? All the metallic stuff? You'll likely lose contact soon. So let me be clear. Your situation is highly precarious. We cannot trust the Alliance or expect them to be willing to help. If things don't go our way, I'll do everything in my power to negotiate your safe return to the Commonwealth. Worst case scenario, we'll opt for a prisoner exchange. Until then, please cooperate with them. And during the interrogation, don't resist. Astrobiologists generally do not possess information that's sensitive to the Commonwealth. At worst, you'll give away the details of our last mission. Of course, it'd be better if that didn't happen. But I know their methods of interrogation, and in all fairness... Astrogator, I believe in the face of a common threat. We'll find a common language, and we can simply cooperate, pushing political animosities aside. I hope you're right, Doctor. I don't think so. Disregard decades of mutual enmity. You must keep in mind human nature. Homo homini lupus. Just because you want to talk to them doesn't mean they'll listen. I'd rather expect they'll be asking the questions and you'll be answering them. That is true. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go this way. Stay in the valley. What are they trying to get here? Since we have no idea what's going to happen, I want you to know that you were always a fair commander, even if you were quite strict. I guess what I'm trying to say is... Please, stop, Doctor. You can tell me when you get back, in person. Understood? Yes, sir. Well, that's a lot of water. I don't know if I'm going to walk through this. Okay, it's kind of greenish. Not seeing anything over here. Don't fall off the edge. Nah, never. That thing is right there. Hopefully, I don't turn it on. Doesn't look like there's anybody here. I don't like that big machine though. Not a big fan of that. A big drill over here.
Yeah, I'm not seeing a lot of stuff. Just equipment. Or I should say, I'm not seeing a lot of people. Oh, what is this? Yeah, it's just equipment everywhere. How odd. What? There's no one here. Nobody. Possible. Yeah. Even if there aren't many of them in the camp, someone would have noticed you. I'm not blind, sir. There's really no one here. Could be some kind of trick. Not yeah. a living soul. They're just hiding out. I'm going. What have I got to lose anyway? Your life, Doctor. I'm going in. Clear. For now. I can't hear anyone either. Yeah, there's nobody here. And there's dust everywhere. It's like these buildings have been here for a while. It's not like they just parked these things yesterday. A black hole, the summary of quarterly research. An empiric research and simulations conducted throughout the last quarter led to our team, led our team to the following conclusions. One, every kind of matter may become a black hole. Two, a black hole may trap light using the force of gravity. Three, we, we accede uh, to the thesis that the existence of an object such as a black hole is a consequence of the general theory of relativity. Uh, four, a black hole may absorb a star even if the size of the sun. Uh, five, the star's consumption, or in other words, the star's dematerialization is accompanied by the flash of matter coming from the inside of a black hole. The scope of intensified verification. The object of our intensified research throughout the next years will be a singularity, a small point of a huge mass present inside of every black hole. In our team's opinion, it is a place where every law of physics is being broken. I have no idea what any of that meant. <laughs> it's not wa water, it's reptile pee. Oh God, I was just walking through reptile pee. Yeah, there is nobody here. Dying of the Sun, the article of rectification. To the editor so-and-so, responsible for a scandalous article tarnishing my good name and diminishing my science achievements. I politely ask for a rectification of the article Dying of the Sun, a scientist threats. On page nines and ten on pages nine and ten, from the fifth issue of the science periodical Young Astrophysicist. Published in the current year, in the text appear only fundamental mistakes of scientific nature, but also inappropriate quotations of my hypothesis delivered at the last Congress. I enclose a correction. According to my, I remind the authorship, Dr. Boza, not Booza, <laughs> research conducted during cosmic voyages, I acknowledge that the time of hydrogen burning out in stars depends on their mass. But this phenomena applies to all stars and ours. However, we would try to en enact the uh, laws of physics isn't located and nothing implies that it would be located outside this phenomenon's range. What is my hypothesis then? In the future, all hydrogen fuel in the sun's core will burn out. A sphere of hydro uh, hydrogenetic fusion will expand until a temperature drops below 10 million Fahrenheit. The core itself will shrink. Ashes from the hydro, uh, hydrogenetic fire will serve as fuel, allowing for a second round of fusion reactions to begin. It will lengthen the life of the aging sun by a few hundred millions of years. However, it is certain the sun will turn from a yellow dwarf into a red giant star. A gravitational pull towards Venus and the Earth will decrease. Thus, the mentioned celestial bodies will succumb to distancing themselves from the star and as a result they will become somewhat rescued but the mighty red sun will yet uh, be able to conserve mercury before dying i guarantee based on my research that the statement voiced by me about the sun living as a main sequence star for 10 billion years that is its existence began 5 billion years ago and will shine for about 5 billion more is true 
However, it is not, as we read in the opinion of so-and-so editor, threat based on libel hypothesis, <laughs> hypotheses, baloney, and pipe dream of a renowned seeking doctor of astrophysics. Science, disturbing an emotional well-being of humans. Evidence is a process touching everything and every being in the universe. It also touches transfixed in the success aura of their unrefined writing and popularity. Editors of science periodicals. My respects, Dr. Bauza. <laughs> Postscriptum. Good lord, this is all above my head. A lack of reprint with the correction and a submission of apologies will force me, with a purpose to protect science in my person, to take legal action. Uh, are we finally getting the space station update? <laughs> I don't even know, man. I hopefully, hopefully, let me look. I haven't actually checked on Twitter yet. Let's see. Have we gotten any notifications? Nope. Nothing. So nothing from Sean Murray. And it's getting late in the day, so if he hasn't done it yet, then I can't imagine it's going to happen anytime soon. We have no audio? Oh, no! Here it goes. Okay. Cannot alt-tab out of this game. It messes it up. I think essentially what that paper was saying is, look, out of, after about 10 billion years, a, a yellow sun will turn into a red dwarf because the hydrogen in the, uh, in the sun will deplete. And this uh, system we're in, this planet we're on, is rotating around a red sun. Red sun. I don't like that machine right there. So it's been 10 billion years. So maybe the life, the, uh, the, uh, the life, the plants, the bushes we saw, maybe they've been evolving for that long. Does this game follow the book? It does to a certain extent. It's not one-to-one, -one, but it is very similar, very similar. So if you've read the book, you probably know what's going to happen. I'm at the central module in the headquarters. You walked in just like that. Yeah, the doors were open. Unbelievable, just unbelievable. I'm at the control station. Several units can be controlled from here. I wonder which. What are we controlling? Oh, damn. One's unavailable. Probably out of reach, or they took it. Number two. I got the feed. But I can't get it to move. It's got a weak signal. Must be too far away. Okay, so number two is too far away. Number three. One is a flying unit. Some sort of probe. Flying over the base? Correct. Can you extract data from it? Sure. Never too much data. Especially in the current situation. I just need to find a place to land it. Over here. I landed the probe. Gonna check it in a spare moment. So that's number three. What's number four? Not connecting. What about number five? Nothing. Dang it. Okay, so it's only number three. I wish a developer would make a video game about the uh, Tripod ser series. The uh, White Mountains is my favorite sci-fi book. I have not read that one, El Elusive Electron. I'm going to have to check that out. Going to have to check that out. Oh, let's read this. 
I have a record of their mission. Each step, location, units, including dates. And all ears. Day Zero, landing place. Their main ships in sector AQ-28. The Invincible? What? They didn't move it? Huh, seems so. I'll try to track it down. Please tell me what else is in there. Well, like us, they became interested in the ocean. They got there on the seventh day. Uh, quite late. I guess they weren't in a hurry. Before setting up this base, they were stationed not far from here. But seemed very determined to reach this area. They dug a vast system of tunnels. When did they finally get here? On the 15th day of the mission. They conducted research and during excavations found... You won't guess. Metal structures. So we had no chance to outrun them. Yeah. And they were already at an advanced stage of works when we were still in orbit. In the end, they sent a convoy to a neighboring sector. So that was their last move? Well, there's no information about their return. And maybe I'll find them there. Highly probable. Do you know what the current day of their mission is? They left on the 25th day. That's all I know. Well, I can't back out now. I have to follow them. Well, it's your decision. Although I admit I'm also starting to wonder what you'll find. People, Astrogator, they must be somewhere. I'm sending a satellite. Soon I'll have an image of the area where the ship landed. We'll see if the Invincible's still there. I'll continue to search their base. On the 24th day, they sent a convoy north to the sector. Oh, to the sector where I found Gorski. Do you suspect they went after him, having detected his signal? Let's not get paranoid, Astrogator. I think they had something else in mind. What is this? Okay, we're just yeah, picking up a picture. Okay. Can I? Oh, back up. Oh, what is this? Alarm print? They've got a device for intercepting alarm signals. There isn't much of it. Single record. The guy survived. Someone saved him. Interesting. The coordinates changed uh, upwards, which indicates he was evacuated by air. Huh. The alarm signal broke off high above the ground. One, eight, five, six, one. Seven, five, four. Yes, it's Gorski. You said he died during the night. Correct. I did. I couldn't let you go back to those ruins. D did you send the lander? You! When? While you were still on your way to the base. Arty carried him on board, secured him. Gorski's in the infirmary now. How could you, sir? I believe Gorski was dead. I, I blame myself for his death. And now you dare say you did it for my own good? If I hadn't lied, you'd be willing to risk everything to save him. His chances were insanely small. I had to get you out first. If Gorski had died because you waited too long... But he didn't. Thanks to you, Yasna. Because I gave him my air tank. That, see, I didn't trust the captain. Now, 100%, I don't trust him. I do not trust him at all. And there's a ladder. Can I go up there? Oh, I can. One more thing. I realize we still need to work together. So I'll submit my reports as usual. But that doesn't mean everything's fine. Understood, Doctor. I appreciate your professionalism.
Can I go with this? No. Oh, there's nothing up here? I gotta go to the probe, I guess? Yeah, there's nothing here. I can't... Dang it. I can't get down the ladder. What? How do I get down? Am I stuck here forever now? <laughs> I guess I'm stuck here forever. Really? Can I... Oh, I guess this? Okay, there you go. Good lord, I didn't even see that. What is that? Falls down. I open the passage. We can follow the convoy route now. When you're ready, there you doctor. go. Follow the Alliance convoy. We need to go to that uh One that drone. Minute, and our satellite will be over this ship. Oh, we're lucky. Clouds are low. Ooh. Alright guys, well I'm gonna have to call it here. Fortunately, the ship's not here. The ship's not there. Neither there. I'm gonna have to call it there. Hopefully, you guys like the uh, beginning of the Invincible. I am really, really liking it, you guys. This is a really, really cool game. Really, really I'm I'm definitely gonna have to do a series on this, you guys, because it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Hopefully, you guys liked it if you did hit that like button and now we're going to go raid flowery squirrel he is playing no man's sky right now he's doing uh, a let's play of no man's sky so we're gonna head over there definitely hit that like button here and then when we get over there into uh, his uh stream definitely show him some love hit that like button so i will see you guys later in the week depending on if there's an update for no man's sky i <laughs> as the day goes on i don't i don't think we're getting an update this week maybe maybe they surprise update us but i'm not holding my breath too much for that so hopefully you guys like the video and i will see you guys next time later in the week probably